Master One is the highest rung on Master Duel's competitive ladder, and getting there is not easy. Only the best duelist with the most consistent decks can climb all the way to the top. But what if you don't use a consistent deck? What if you play an archetype full of high-level bricks that rely on a field spell to summon? How far could you get? I'm Hardleg Joe, if in ya didn't know, and that's just the kind of thing I do. Each month my patrons pick a different deck and I see how far I can push it up the Master Duel ladder. This month we're playing Generators, a whole archetype made almost exclusively of level 9 monsters. Its playstyle centers around this, the Generator boss stage. As soon as your opponent starts their turn, it summons a powerful raid boss from the deck, along with a whole field of minions to support them. It can be absolutely brutal to overcome if you go first and set up the field. If you have to play into an established board, things can get pretty dire. And all the unsummonable level 9s in your hand won't help. Their newest round of support aims to fix these problems, but will two cards be enough for this deck to snake its way into Master 1? You'll have to watch to find out. Well, all right, here we are, and as the intro said, we are playing Generator, and we're starting in Diamond 5, which is new, you know? Hopefully it should make that climb to Master just a little bit easier. And as always, I've taken some time before this to just go over Generator lists, look at different variants of the deck, and build one myself. In fact, I've built a couple versions because there's actually a lot of different ways you can play Generator. The deck itself is more of an engine than a fully complete deck. You can get away with playing just like 12 to 15 things. So people have mixed it with a whole bunch of stuff. There's Invoked Generator, there's Plant Generator, and there's what I'm playing today, which I don't think I've seen anyone else play, Fairy Generator, which I'm calling Fairy Odd Bosses. Because the, if you don't know the Generators, they're all bosses. They're the boss! They come from the boss stage, they have boss in their name, and a couple of the high level ones are fairies, specifically this new support, Vala. There's a level 9 fairy that can summon itself out of the graveyard by attributing or discarding something with a, with a generator. The point is, you can do stuff with it in the graveyard. And most generator decks play at least one of this. This is also a level 9 fairy that can summon itself out of the graveyard by tributing another fairy. So instead of playing one, I've maxed out on this, maxed out on this, and then we're playing some of these Herald Hand Traps. The one orange light that we can play, along with two green light and two purple light, which negate traps, spells, and monsters, respectively, by discarding a fairy. So the idea is, we've already got a pretty good going first board. If we go second, we can shut down the opponent, you know, stop the, uh, the Welcome Labyrinth or the Branded Fusion, discard one of these, and then it doesn't really cost us anything because we can just summon it back out of the graveyard. Will it work, or is it just a dumb experiment? Who knows? But, you know, last episode, we pretty much built the deck and then never changed it. So this episode, I'm looking to try a bunch of different variants, try out a whole bunch of stuff, especially because this is a fairly cheap deck. I've only need super rares in the main deck, and I could probably craft all of those right now. And I only need four ultra rares, but a lot of the a lot of the uh, generator stuff is in Dreaded Conspiracy, the newest normal pack, which not only contains the generators, but also stuff like Trap Tricks, Labyrinth, Dark World, the new Magic Key cards, which are all things that I'm thinking about playing in the future. So since we have like 15,000 gems practically, probably gonna open more packs that we need, just stock up on some ultra rares, get a whole bunch of points. And then during this episode, we're just gonna try a whole bunch of different builds of Generator. Assuming the fairy one doesn't just like take us to master one, which I'm sure it won't. So yeah, we'll try that out. But first, opening all the packs. But before we go ahead into those packs, we've actually got a special deal going on. The, the World Championship is right around the corner, and Master Duel is currently offering this little bundle. It's five Master Packs, plus a background and a sleeve and an icon for 600 gems. Normally the Master Packs are 100 gems each, so it's essentially, you get the five packs, and then the three of these are 100 gems. You know, personally, I don't really care about the icons and the sleeves. I'm not really a fan of the aesthetics. If, it, if this were just my personal account, I wouldn't bother with this because uh, I would just use the default sleeves and stuff forever. But since I'm entertaining people and chat likes the different sleeves, 
we're gonna go ahead and get one of each of these bundles. Who knows, there may become a time when we play Blue Eyes and we want the special limited edition Blue Eyes sleeves or whatever. Plus, who knows, it's a master pack. Those contain everything. Maybe we'll get, I don't know, what would we want out of this? Ultimate Slayer? And it looks like there's an ultra rare. Let's see if we can get an alternate Slayer, shall we? Oh, we got two super rares. What do we got? Sprite Sprint. I forget if we had one of those already. If nothing else, this is ultra rare points, you know. You only need one of these. So if this is our second one, it's free ultra rare points. And if not, then we got one. It's pretty nice. And that wasn't even the ultra rare pack. This is the one that's actually got the ultra rare in it. Oh, it's got two ultra rares in it. Wow, this must be that streamer luck. Okay, Ultimate Slayer, let's go. No, it's uh, Assault Black Wings, Rikari. I mean, if I ever play Black Wings, there you go. What about this one? Oh, hey, Rising Carp. It looks like I already have another one of these. You know, good if you're playing a punk build, but in this case, more ultra rare points. I think this might just be worth it based on the ultra rare points we got. <laughs> All right, so, you know, we got some stuff. We got like 20 UR dust. That's probably worth the 600 gems. Let, let's go ahead, go into the other one. Will Dark Magicians be better than Blue Eyes? There's only one way to find out. No, no, the answer is no. The, the Dark Magician pack was not as good. We got one UR, which we might play if we ever do an Abyss Actor deck. And we got some SR dust, including this one, which shiny, and I'm definitely breaking that down because I don't think super quantums even make this most of the time. Um, so yeah, probably not worth it, but you know, I did it, so you don't have to. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> all right, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and open these up. Again, all we really need is extra deck cards. We're trying to get Jormungandr. We're trying to get the cover card. It looks like we might get at least one chance of them. And then everything else is just extra. We're not really getting a whole lot of UR dust because we're just collecting stuff. And yeah, some of this Dark World stuff. I haven't even read the new Dark World support. It's supposed to be pretty good, so we'll see. We'll see. I'll come back if we get anything neat. The Eye of Selene is not neat. This thing, target three monsters in the graveyard, choose one of the three, then your opponent chooses one of the following. Special summon the monster. Special summon the two other monsters. Huh. That's like a really neat card for like a limited format and probably useless in the modern format. But this is fun. If I made a cube, probably put that in there. It's kind of just worse Call of the Haunted. It's not Call of the Haunted because this isn't a continuous trap. It just brings it back and they're not connected to this. They just get summoned. So in that way, it's actually like better than Call of the Haunted and better than um, Back to the Front because it allows you to summon Link monsters and it doesn't put them in defense mode. The downside, of course, is that in order to use this, you need to have three monsters in the graveyard to begin with. I like cards that give your opponent a choice where like both choices are technically good. It's got that not graceful charity, but painful decision. That's like a really fun card, even if it's absolutely busted. Hey, there we go. Levitin, generator boss of shadows. There's one, one of four. We just need to get another one of her and two of the Jormungandr. All right, final pack. We've got an ultra rare. Will we pull off what we did last time and just get the other, the other uh, Levitin immediately? No, we got the we got the trap tricks link. She's all like spiders. But again, that'll be good if we ever play the new trap trick stuff. At least we have one of those. And we got one of the things we needed. As chat has pointed out, the Jormungandr is not actually in this pack. We'll have to go to another pack to get that. So we're really just trying to get another one of these. And then Lopter, I think, is the other super rare that's in here. Trying to get as many of those as possible. Although we can always craft the super rares if need be. All right, let's see. Can we get the other Levitin? No, instead we've got Beargram, Shelled Emperor of the Forest Crown, which is like insect and plant. It's like Trap Tricks boss monster, but I don't think Trap Tricks actually plays it. All right, here's the final thing. We got a little lamb and we got the magic key guy, a little sniper. Good eye, sniper. It's got some things. Do we not get an ultra rare this time? 
No, we did. We got the one ultra rare, but it wasn't what we were looking for. But we got a couple other things that might be good. Again, we have so many points. Does not matter. Let's go in. 3k gems. See what we got. Look at that. Shinies everywhere. Oh, hey. You are right off the bat. Will it be the last Leviton we need? No. No, it's another lovely lady, and we already have three of those, so it's free dust. Huh. Oh, another ultra rare, but again, nothing I need. Rainbow over King of the Dark World. Good for Dark Worlds, but I'm not playing Dark Worlds yet. Oh, here's another you are. I'm going you are crazy. Will it be the one that we need? No, it's a sneaky C. Get out of here. I don't want to deal with any Cs. All right, a fairly good haul. We've got some things that we can break down for sure, but not the one card we need. We're going back for more. Down to 9,000 gems, although I still have a 1,000 in my box that I haven't claimed yet. We only have 10,000 free gems. Who knew? Who knew? All right, you are... You are the one I want? No, you're another one of the big bugs. All right, look at all these shinies. Surely one of these has to be the you are that I need. Show me the you are. It's another, it's another lab room. Oh, I mean, it's more dust. We're quickly approaching the point where we can just break everything down for like you are dust and craft it ourselves. Okay, this one won't be the Leviton. There you go. I knew it. It's Grapha. I could smell his stank coming from a mile away. Yeah, so we got like an SR. We got some things. Again, we could break these down because we already played Labyrinth and we've already got all the stuff for it. Except for the new stuff, which we haven't pulled yet. So more UR dust, more things. Starting to get a little ridiculous. I just want that last one. We'll go ahead and do one more of this and then we'll try opening Generator Pack because that's where we get the Jormungandr's at. All right, we got an ultra rare. I got a good feeling about this. This is going to be the one that I want. Come on, you are Leviton. It's another it's another lady. It's a it's a shiny lady. So I guess it's 15 ultra rare dust. That's what that is. <laughs> All right, well, I think we're gonna call it on this pack for now. I, I feel like we're not gonna get it and we need to spend some of our points on the other one. So let's go over to the other pack and see what we could do. I think I should have unlocked it because we've already got the stuff. No, no, we we don't. We have to find some way to unlock it. Let's Let's go ahead, one second. All right, so at this point we could craft everything, but I want to open some of these, see if I can save a little bit of my crafting points for stuff that isn't in packs. So we're going to go ahead and generate one of these lopters we need, and that should get us one free pull of the Worthy Adversaries pack. And this is the one that features not only Lopter, but also the Jormungandr, and I forget if we have more than... We'll, we need two of these for the plant-based version. So pulling those would be good. If we get any of these, we could break it down because nothing plays this. So we'll go ahead, spend another thousand. We're on 6k gems and we'll see if we can get anything. Lots of these looking at at least one ultra. Let's hope our luck is good. Mysteries, nothing. Shit just shiny for no reason. Hey, there's the one horror we need. I could probably get two of these. Some people do play two, and we might use a second one another in another variant. But at least we got one of them. So that should save us a little bit more of those crafting points. All right. I believe this is a UR. Let's hope for... Okay, well, that was the UR was hidden. Maybe this one will be one too, even though it's yellow? No, it's a reptilian. It's in the wrong side of the pack anyway. But we got a Mardell, that's the second one. That's what we needed, you know, it's no Jormungander, but but it'll do. All right, last chance to get a Jormungander. And we got UR points instead. Oh boy, okay. Well, at least we got one thing we can use, you know, we got uh, that's two things we can use. Not a complete waste. Let's go ahead and go back, put in that 7,000th gem. Hopefully we get something a little bit better here. No, no, it ain't better. <laughs> Hey, there's the second horror. Okay, we got two of them. Okay, world snake, world snake, 
Gotta hit them all with the world snake. World snake, world snake. We got a big old world snake. Snakes in the chat, snakes in the chat. Snake, 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 snake. <laughs> And there we go. We got we got a Jormungandr. Um, I guess we'll do one more just to make it even. We'll make an even 8,000, but yeah, that's probably all we need. We spent way more than we needed, but if I didn't spend any, I, I wouldn't be able to grab any more. So we'll just go ahead and throw this in there, see what we get. And, you know, if we get something great, and if not, we've already crafted it. Hey, and there's our second Jormungandr by singing Dr. Worm off the camera so that, you know, YouTube doesn't copyright strike me. We were able to get everything we need, all the things, and with that, we can craft the few remaining super rares and get to testing this deck. Okie dokie, there we go. We have pulled most of what we needed and we crafted the rest with plenty of points are still left over, we're good. The next step is to take this in test it against some viewers, test it against some patrons, see how it does. Then I'll come back and explain how the deck works. But first, I just want to take this moment to be like, hey, if you like the show, if you enjoy what I do, first of all, I mean, you can catch it live, watch me on Twitch, maybe come down, say hi, and you can see all the, the multiple takes I have to do to get this right. And if you really like the show, if you like to support it, consider giving me like a dollar on Patreon. There's a link to that down in the description as well. Any little bit you could toss my way helps. I often have to buy gems and stuff. I mean, I didn't this time, but usually I do. And, and that just helps me do that. It helps me buy upgrades to make the sound quality better, the video quality better. And of course you get stuff out of it too. For $1, you can join my Discord. And it's the Discord member patrons who help me test or at least get primary spots in helping me test. So consider that and we'll be right back. <sighs> All right, ladies and non-ladies, here we are, stream number one, ready to begin. The testing has been done, a week has passed, but I'm ready. Ready to take on the world with the Fairy Odd Bosses, which I kind of already showed a little bit, but after a little bit of testing, I don't think we made any changes. I think it's still pretty good, but again, it's been a week, so I don't exactly remember. Either way, let's just go over this real quick. If you know absolutely nothing about generators, I'll explain the basics of the deck. And if you already know how this deck works, if you just want to see the duels, well, there's time codes. I actually spend a lot of time on those, so you could use them to jump ahead to the next duel or whatever duel you want. Check it out. Pretty nice. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and jump into Generator, which if you don't know is an interesting archetype based partially off Norse mythology and partially off the idea of an MMO raid boss. If you've ever played World of Warcraft, RuneScape, I don't think RuneScape had raid bosses. EverQuest? I know one of the Final Fantasies is an MMO, but either way, you've got these big bosses that you've got to defeat and most of their monsters are level 9. You've got Har, the generator boss of storms, Mardell, the boss of light, and even though she says light, she's really the boss of plants. All of them are different types, and they all have sort of this dual utility, where they both help out the generators and whatever type they are. Mardell, for example, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one generator card or one plant monster from your deck to your hand. So it's generator searching and plant searching. Har, meanwhile, has a bunch of effects, but where's the most important one? When a card or effect is activated, quick effect, tribute two generator and or spellcaster monsters, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy the card. So he's the boss of spellcasters. You can use him in a spellcaster deck that has some way to summon level nines, or you can use him in here as a negate and he tributes either the generators or the spellcasters. That first part is important because all of these are facilitated by generator boss stage, their field spell. This basically ties all these disparate bosses into one strategy. Once per turn, if a card is added from the main deck to your opponent's hand, except during the damage step, you can special summon one generator from your deck in defense position. So this does trigger when they just draw for their normal draw phase, which is 90% of how you're going to be triggering this. Activate it. As soon as your opponent's turn starts, the boss battle begins. You can summon any boss from your deck. 
And then if you special summon a generator during your opponent's turn, you can special summon as many tokens as you want in attack position. These are fairy light level four with 1500 attack, 1500 defense, but destroy them during the end phase, even if this card leaves the field. So you summon the boss, and then as soon as they arrive, they summon a whole bunch of minions. You just fill up the board with minions. And yes, they leave as soon as the turn is over, but while they're there, you can use this, them as ammunition for an effect like Har. You know, tribute off two of them to negate anything. We're also playing Utgarda, who can tribute two generator or rock monsters to target a card on the field and banish it. And Nidhogg can tribute one generator or worm to negate the summon of a monster and destroy it. So we've got summon negation, banishment, and just general negation. These are our three main tools. And then this is just like a searcher and the other ones have some utility. There are a couple other ones. Frody can destroy monsters. This one gives you like protection, but we're not really worried about those. We're mostly just using these three to control the game during our opponent's turn. And then during our turn, we can make level nine Ixies or rank nine, I suppose I should say. Now, previously they only had one, Jormungandr, Generator Boss of Eternity. It gains a thousand attack and defense for every material it has. And once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach one, both players draw a card, and then both players have to attach a card in their hand or field to this as material. Which does a, a couple things. One, because you detach one and then add two, one from each player, it always goes up by a thousand. So this thing starts at 2,000, goes to three, four, can easily get up to five or six if it stays for a turn or two. But because both players draw a card, this actually triggers the boss stage. Again, remember, anytime your opponent adds a card from their deck to their hand. So this is a great way to trigger it during your turn. You don't get the tokens on your turn, but still being able to summon anything out of the deck and use it, great way to just put on a whole bunch of extra damage. And of course, this can also steal some resources. If they've got it as Ixie material, they can't use it. And that's super important for their newest card, Levitin, Generator Boss of Shadows. This is also two plus level nine monsters. You can only control one. Monsters your opponent control lose a thousand attack and defense. Nice, it can, you know, attack for a lot. But most importantly, quick effect, tribute this Ixie summoned card. Special summon a non-fairy generator Ixie from your extra deck, and then attach cards from any field or graveyard to the special summoned monster up to the number of materials this had. So basically, we're going to make this with two materials most of the time. And then during the opponent's turn, we can tribute this off, summon Jormungandr, and without targeting, it gets two cards on the field or graveyard and attaches them as material, which is absolutely devastating to a whole bunch of decks, but especially Tierlament, which is still running around. They want their stuff destroyed. They want it in the graveyard. They don't want it equipped to the World Serpent because that doesn't do anything for them. And I'm pretty sure detaching it doesn't trigger the effect. So that's pretty much the entire generator part of the deck in a nutshell. We're just trying to get to the boss stage. Every turn we summon some kind of disruption. We use it to disrupt the opponent during their turn. And then during our turn, we're making Ixies, we're summoning big things. And if we can summon more, then, you know, we've got like Entablathnir, we've got Hy Hyperi Tree or whatever. We got this new, all the, all the rank nines have impossible to, to pronounce names, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. But we've got a lot of level nines is the point that we can make with this. And that especially helps with something like World Legacy Monstrosity, which is just like, target a level nine you control. Special summon from the deck to level nines with different type and attribute. And wouldn't you know that all these have different types and most of them have different attributes. So usually this is like, hey, if you manage to summon any of them, make this for free. And I mean, who wouldn't want to do that? All right, first duel and we're going first. And I, you may have noticed I've changed my name. I'm trying to do this whole campaign, trying to get Max C banned. Made a big video about it, maybe check that out. But uh, either way, I figure, you know, another way to help, change your name to hashtag ban Max C or some variant of it. Let the devs know. 
We're going first, and we want to go first, because going first is cool. So normally what I want to do with this is send the Trias and then use like the combo to make Baron de Fleur. But we open with the one of Tuner, so we can't do that. So instead, we're actually going to do this right off the bat. So we're going to do this. We're going to send... Well, I don't have another generator in hand either, do I? Nope. We're going to send St. Joan. Become level 9. Now we can target it. Summon two level 9s from the deck. Unfortunately, because this is light, we can't summon Mardell and get boss stage. Which sucks. And these would be these are gonna be destroyed at the end phase, essentially. So this has a neat effect. You can special summon this by banishing a monster you control, and then it comes back. So we could potentially save this and make something, but I think having the monster negate with the fairy in hand is better. So what we're going to do is just make a dang old Lavatin. It's Lavatin Pass and hope that this is enough. Dun 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 dun. We basically got three removals. We've got graveyard stuff and we've got a monster negate in the form of Herald of Orange Light. Not the best and because we don't have the, the field spell, we don't have a lot of like recovery. But there's still a chance this might be enough to really put them on their toes. Unfortunate. But I mean, I'm glad they used it then and not on, like, the field spell. The fuck is this? The true sun god. Ah. Ah, I see. It's Ra time. I guess it's a good thing I didn't have the, the boss stage, otherwise I'd have so many tokens and they could just sphere mode me. This is diamond, right? Yeah, but it's diamond five. Great beast of the sky, hear my cry. Ra, ra, Rasputin, lover of the Egyptians. Excuse me? Pardon? I just want to stop that, right? I don't want to give them a chance to do stuff. Yeah, fuck you. Get out of here. No bird cooking allowed. All right, all right, setting some cards. That's what I like to see. And we'll just go ahead and activate this now. Jormungandr, the World Serpent. Bum. Attach cards? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll attach this, this, and this. Nom, nom, nom. Om, nom, nom. <laughs> yummy, yummy. So let me gobble up all those back row. For the rest of the turn after this resolves, yeah, I think I want to do it anyway. Because if I can get the world stage, I can get everything going. Nope. Nope. There we go. We found the ball stage, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people in chat are saying battle first. I think I could do more damage this way. Um, let's go. Oh, we can't draw cards anymore. Oops. Oh, that's fine, though. It's just battle. We're fine, we're fine. Now I can make a big old Zeus, just like the biggest Zeus. Uh, I think I'd rather not though at the moment. Did you draw a card? Time to summon. Yeah, we need to go for Vala. Vala comes out and then the order tokens and then this and then they resolve backwards. So we get the tokens first, then we get her. Yeah, and chain resolves backwards. So we'll get Har out as a generic negate. And then we'll get three tokens to tribute off. One, to who? A three. Crunch. Ah, Jack in the hand. Sure, why not? So Har, in addition to being a, you know, as if, it, as if being an Omni negate weren't bad enough, they have an effect. To add to your hand, I'll take the good one. You can have the stinky ones. Now, let's see if I can do this. Uh, if your opponent adds a card from their deck to their hand, you can make your opponent send one monster from their hand or field to the graveyard. So they must send a monster from their hand to the graveyard. There you go. Pretty nice. Get rid of some resources. And that's why it's, it's even better along with Jormungandr, because again, Jormungandr makes them draw, but then takes one of the cards out of their hand, so they're going neutral as it is, but that triggers the Har, which means they gotta get rid of another card. So it's a roundabout hand rip. 
Ah, oh, they're chain blocking. Mm, okay. But they won't be able to chain block after this because they only have the one. So I can just negate the, the next one that comes down. Uh, yeah, you ain't doing that. Tribute off two tokens. And that's how you do it! The raw birds, the power of God and birds together could not defeat the power of the boss, baby. The boss, comma, ba not the boss, baby. No, st no. <laughs> All right, duel number two. This time we're going second and oh, hey, look at all this. We can negate a spell and a trap and we've got Ash. We've got three disruptions and a one card starter. This is about as good as we can expect for uh, a go second hand. This is kind of what we were hoping for. Okay, Messengelato says hello. What is it, my birthday? Why, thank you. Well, I was going to get Mardell. What do I need to get now? Tribute one generator, special summon one from your deck. It can be an attack or defense. So I guess we just do this. Activate. Ah, that's the one thing I can't stop. Well, at least they used the ash on that. So hopefully I'll have one for the boss. They won't have one for the boss room. And if they open with all ashes, then I'll be sad. You drew a card. No, come on, be cool. Okay, it's just the trap. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I think not, friend. Um, I think I want to keep the the sky. Yeah, because he could do something. Plays Herald of Purple Light. Maxi. Uh, no, I don't think I want you to do that either. I think I'm the hand trap king. No one out pizzas the hut. So, no, and also no. I'm gonna say no to you twice. Um, and then I'm going to summon this dude. Womp. He's doing the power symbol. Token, token, all the tokens. They call me four token Johnson for a reason and don't you forget it. So they've got two cards. I can stop one of those cards. Oh, hey, and Jelly. Bagoo! It's so terribly tired! Welp, there go my tokens. Uh, let's see here. Welp, I knew this day might come. Yeah, I think we just wait, right? Because I can't activate this. I could send this off and draw two, but it wouldn't really get me anything. I mean, we're good. They can't, they can't do this forever, and I just get more powerful every time. Uh, let's go for Nidog this time. Nidhogg plus Har, pretty great, because Nidhogg can tribute one in order to negate a summon. So we've got, like, Solemn Warning and Solemn Judgment. Okay, attack mode. They can destroy a token. Just one. Zeus time. Ah, Zeus time! But I can negate the summon of Zeus. So, like, you don't even get a chance to activate it because your summon was negated. You technically weren't ever on the field to begin with. Oh, there you go. Feeling pretty good about how this is turning out. Another one. Let's summon Lopter. Let's activate Lopter on himself. Um, do I have a level, a level 9 in the graveyard? I don't. Oh, but I can get Lopter back. Use the effect? Sure. Yeah, and there you go. It's it's so easy to just get like a million points of damage on. Just crazy. Okie dokie, duel number three, and we get to go first, and DD Sprite in the opener, just every time. Like crazy. We want the boss stage, so we're gonna go for the Lopter first. Lopter, who is, I believe, in the lore, is supposed to be Loki. And just on the down low, you know, Loki. I think that's who he's supposed to be. So we get this, and the Audi. Give me the boss stage. Yay, I'm in a stage. Okay, and then we can, we can do this. Ah, a bestial. Yep, this is light so they can get rid of that. Unfortunate means I can't get that back. But I can bring the Lopter back, and I mean, having him on the field isn't bad. Unless you got another one. I think they got another bestial. Oh wait, no, this is fire. I don't know what they could get. A DD Crow, ah, okay. 
They're like, no graveyard shenanigans for you. Someone really doesn't like tier limits. Exactly. Uh, unfortunate, but like, I don't really care all that much. I still get to make boss girl in the extra monster zone because having as many zones open for tokens as possible is actually pretty important in this deck. Now we just hope they don't have bestial crow ash because the ash blossom here would suck. My most of me! They have all the hand traps, but can they extend beyond that? I still have some removal. Unless they've got called by as well for this. Uh, okay. Aw, oh, jeez. What'd they get? Just a Lubellion. The two of them make a kit close. I mean, I could deal with that pretty well. Wait for the resolution of the kit. Because I assume they'll add it to hand. Yeah, they've already normal summoned. So now we just do this, right? Tribute this. Summon Jormungandr. Attach cards? Uh, yeah. We'll attach these two. Nom, nom, nom. Slurp. Oh, and I summoned a generator, which means I get all the tokens anyway. I forgot that it's when you summon a generator during the opponent's turn. You just get tokens. Five tokens. At the risk of giving them something more, I think I want to destroy that back row and draw three. One, two, three. Then you can apply the effects. Um, what does this do? If this card is destroyed, you can add a tier limit trap. Okay, actually, yeah, let's get rid of the scream. Because giving them a trap doesn't do anything when they don't have a monster. And we can negate the trap anyway, because we drew Herald of Purple Light! So we know they have Sullyek Murley, no big deal. Lopter, nice. Uh, what do we got in the grave? Okay, so what we can do here, we're gonna go ahead and activate the Jormungandr from the field of the graveyard. Okay, so you can have that back. Let's equip the purple light. Give me something. Um, and then because a card was drawn, we'll get this. They will ash again. Not a big deal. Let's activate this. We can send the Lopter, summon her, and then she summons back Mardell. Mardell searches me another thing. Let's just get a backup boss stage, you know, in case. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that seems like game. That's probably a game enough. 19, 24, 25, and Tierlament cannot stand up against the all-devouring world serpent, Jormungandr swallow their soul. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Uh, yeah, we go for this still. Hardy har har. When did I get the Royal Ash? Like the day I started playing? Uh, okay. That could have been worse. So it's almost certainly Labyrinth. Either way, the point of this was to bait out one thing, and it kind of did. Evenly matched, just to get rid of this. Okay. Cannot banish tokens face down. I'm just all, all hand traps. Gee, Billy, how come your mom gives you two Ash Blossoms? Just discard hard, draw two. Oh, hey. Uh, monsters that are banished in the graveyard cannot activate their effects. Uh, well, fortunately, I got one in the hand. So, yeah, it's fine. Oh, wait, no, then this won't uh, trigger properly. I think we still send one of these because we want to draw one. Yeah, so we don't get the level one because of the this thing. We can't make the Barone. Yeah, it stops Entis and just about anything else we'd want to do. Pretty much have to draw Boss Stage or Lopter. Uh, <laughs> nope. You shan't be welcomed this time. Goodbye. Hey, that's what we like to see. Oh wait, yeah, this is better. Unless this is exactly called by, in which case we're screwed. But if it's not called by, we're in pretty good position. 
And then we trigger the lofter. Adios. Activates on the field, Soul Drain. Goes in match. Each player can only control one attribute. And I can only control one of each kind. Yeah, if I had known Gozen, but I guess this is at one, right? Yeah. So the chances that it was Gozen were pretty low. Unfortunately, Lopter is fire, and so is her. Lopter tributes himself as cost. I guess we'll find out, but I'm pretty sure I can't even activate him. I have to choose when I activate it. Or is it not on the field when I choose? Ah, okay. Hello there. Boss stage! It's attribute, and this is light as well, so I can keep this and the, uh, and get the Utgarda. In fact, this is even better. Because it means if they activate it now, I can tribute off these two. Because I still have two. And at least get rid of this. <laughs> All we had to do was wait it out. I bleed it out, dig it deeper just to throw it away. I bleed it out, dig it deeper just to throw it away. <laughs> All right, here we are, six duels in, one more win, and we rank up. Can we go first? Yes, we can. We just gotta hope we don't get an absolute brick hand, which can happen when you're playing a deck full of level nine, but not today. This is not that day. Let's activate Vala. Bump. Activate, summon back the, the bro, the dude, the guy, unless they've got a bestial. But this is one of those hands, right, where um, if I was playing the, the rude version... Yeah, they got a bestial. That is unfortunate. We'll have to do this without Har. But yeah, this is where this is how you can get, like, two level nines on and just build crazy shit. Um, let's go ahead and activate this. And target a level nine and then summon two level nines from the deck that have different lab or different types and attributes. So... Oh. Uh, Mardell is summoned, which means we get to search the boss stage like a boss. And then we just go ahead into the big lady. All three. And we're doing pretty good. These two in hand mean we can negate a trap. Not particularly great at the moment, but it means if they have like evenly matched, we can stop that. Although I'm not sure how they'd get rid. Oh, I guess like a crash. In this case, I think we go for Lopter, because we're not sure exactly what they're on. And Lopter can either get us into this or get us into Vala after we've used this. And then we can use Vala to get anything out of the graveyard. So we'll be in good graces. So they could crash this and evenly match, and we've got the out to that, unless they've got two of them. Yeah, we can do this. This will be funny. They're going to be like that, and I'm going to be like, uh-uh-uh, you didn't say the magic words. So what we're going to do is we're going to make Jormungandr. And then we're going to attach three. So let's just be like you, you, and you. Good luck fusion summoning. <laughs> uh, before the end of the main phase. Now nah, we're good. Battle phase. You magnificent bastard. I read your book. <laughs> Take that evenly! You got the second one for me? Get out of here. I was prepared. All right, well, they've got the Kel back so they can bounce back this. Sure, I don't want to get them to draw a card. Does not trigger your monsters, but it does give you back to them into the graveyard. For the end of the main phase, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. I'll do one, two, three. So we can summon a Hierarchia. Then we can use this to destroy the Kelbeck. And Pot of Greed! Uh, do I want to summon something else out while I'm here? Nah, we're fine. Oh, I should have with the spare token. Yeah, good point. Orange Light. I can't even activate this. I've already used most of my things. Uh, let's just use this. 
Poof. We'll get Vala. Bring back Utgard. That seems pretty good against the, the deck that wants everything to be in the graveyard. And, ooh, wait, can we just end it here? This is one, two, three, four, five. No, I don't have any lower. I can't use this though, so here's what we'll do, chat. Normal summon this. I think it's time to put a little pep in their step, wouldn't you say? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think this is more. Yeah, plus it lets me retain this so I can use it next turn. Yeah, making the pep was dumb. Maybe I should have put this down and done, but I, this is actually... Oh wait, this can activate in the battle phase. So we just tribute this off and we make a Jormungandr. Attach two cards. Oh uh, yeah, let's get those uh, tier limits out of your graveyard again. <laughs> 2000, exact game. And there we go, chat. Perfectly lethal, as all things should be in the world of the world serpent. And we go up into to Diamond 4. Yay, Diamond 4. <sighs> Do draw a card. Draw a goddamn card on my watch. Not on my watch. Uh, mm, it, mm, ip it up, ip it up, ip it up, boo. I think we go for a Lopter. And then we just hope they don't have evenly. If they do, we're evenly screwed. Oh. 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 I see. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this now. Uh, this one, and this one, and this one. Um. Oh, hey. Trap tricks. Um, and then we will use this in the graveyard. Pop, pop, pop. Watch a motherfuckers drop. Destroy a card? Yes. Draw two? Yes. Lopter? Yes. Summon her. And then she summons Har back. So we can negate what other trap you might have. Big numbers. Many things. When this deck works, oh boy, does it work. Uh, big snaky boy. They might still have something. Ah, dimensional barrier. That stops my Ixies from doing their Ixie things. That doesn't really bother me though. I'm good with that. Zero attack. Ah, even better. Hello. You may have stopped me from Ixie summoning, but I can still synchro. Easy peasy. When it works, the deck is unfair. When it doesn't, you get milled to death. Holy fuck. Too fast, too furious, Tokyo Drift. Yeah, they had monsters. They just didn't draw any. My kingdom for a monster. Okie dokie, so we're not doing too terribly. As you can see by the win rate, we're still winning significantly more than we're losing, but we have been on a bit of a losing streak. And I think a lot of it has to do with the Kaji Kuri curse, the, uh, the trade-in for level nines. Uh, it's often dead because you don't have a level 9 in hand. And even when you do, there's times where we discard it, we don't draw anything useful. When what we really want to do is get to boss stage. So what I've done is I've traded those out for Generator Boss Quest. This is reveal a generator monster in hand. And if you do, add up to two generator spell traps with different names from your deck except for Boss Quest. So what this allows you to do is return any of your garnets back into the deck and in exchange, you get the uh, the boss stage, as well as any other generator trap. And I've decided to go with boss room because one of my patrons really likes it. This thing is a continuous trap that says when your opponent activates a card or effect, in response to the activation of a generator, you can discard one card and the effect becomes both players draw one card. Kind of a weird cheesy thing, but it essentially makes it so that they can't ash boss stage. If you if boss stage, if they try to activate something in response to it, the effect just becomes both players draw a card, which does give your opponent a card, but it's better than having your entire play ashed. The alternative to that is boss fight, which more people recommended. I might switch this out if uh, the, the boss room turns out to be awful. This is activate a field spell directly from your deck or graveyard, then your opponent draws one card. So it also draws your opponent's a card, 
but it gives you the boss stage and then because they draw a card it instantly triggers it so if they do ash this or do something like that you get another one and then you get to activate it again because it's not actually a hard once per turn at least uh the 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 part that summons a monster from the deck isn't a hard once per turn so we're gonna start with this we'll go into that and then because we've added this in we want more generators, and because we added that in, I put the, the Trius down to two. I really like this. It's been really good almost every time we've drawn it, but there's a couple times that, like, I, I wished it had been something else. So hopefully this will this will work out with the ratios. We have more generators than we do level nines, um, and we'll see how it goes. <sighs> All right, we're approaching the end of today's stream, but if we can get one more win, we can rank up into Diamond 3. And, you know, going up to two Diamond, or two ranks with a deck that is probably not the optimal version of the deck, I feel, I feel like that's pretty good. That's pretty good progress. Just gotta hope we don't brick. Did not brick. We got close. So the two options, we could activate this, discard the boss quest, summon this, and then activate Monstrosity to get two. That gets us the Field Spell and the Levitin, but if they have Ash, we're fucked. Alternatively, we could activate this and just send back the, the Vala, and then we, auto, we get the Field Spell. Oh wait, if they have Ash, we're still fucked. If we do the Levitin way, we could still Normal Summon the Sprite and at least make a Barone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the better, the better route. Activate. Please no ash, please no ash, please no ash, please no ash, please no ash. Come on, Maxi, I'll take a Maxi. Maxi would be glorious right now. I just wanna throw, I just wanna pop down a ma- Oh, sadness. All right, normal summon. At least, it, oh, it's not even in the graveyard. Yeah, we mega fucked. <laughs> There's a chance we've got a negate and an ash. If they've got a really bad hand, or they're just like an awful deck or something, we could maybe do this. Laundry Dragon Maid. I'm going to allow it because it's random. It could be anything. They could get nothing off of this. And it looks like they didn't. Alright, alright, we're not dead yet. That doesn't really help us. Uh, let's pop one of these back rows, shall we? Rise to full height. A strange thing is going on, chat. I'm gonna have zero defense, but that doesn't really bother me that much. 25, okay. Okay, Merly, another mill three. I'm gonna save it. It's another random mill, so they might mill nothing. No, they hit a Havness. Uh, I'll negate the Havness. Do not want them to get started. All right. We're still good. We're still going. Nice. That works. On the off chance that this is a Tier Limits card, I don't think I want to pop it. Because it might search them like a Havness or something, and then they summon and they get things. Opponent cannot attack monsters for the rest of the turn except to attack that. Okay, I've seen this play before. They can activate Rise to full height on this, and it's like, for the rest of the turn, if you attack, you have to attack this. And that way, like, if I destroy this and I have another monster, I can't attack directly, because I can only attack if I would attack that monster. Okay, they're getting level 2s on, which are unaffected by monster effects. Oh, so I can't attack that, yeah. Which is the only way I have to get rid of it, really. So if this is called by, I could get mega screwed. But if not, I'm really in a solid position. Let's try popping it. Force their hand. If we have more information, we can at least get a good idea of what's going on. Okay, it's just another Morella. Um, do I want to ash that? I think I do, actually, because they can send a tier limit trap that way. And I do not want that. And also, it stops them from getting another uh, thing out of the graveyard. Okay, now we have fairly perfect knowledge, except whatever is in their hand. I'm not sure they have anything that could stop us, though, except for maybe, like, a DD Crow. Max C would be unfortunate, but not the end of the world. All right, we can bring back this. 
want to activate that now. I think not. I think we just attack over it. And then next turn, as soon as they summon anything, we can steal that and like a, a something in their graveyard. For now, we just hit for 3k. And then I can't attack. I can activate the effect, but I can't attach that because it's unaffected by monster effects. Not in the worst position. We're still not out of the woods. We shouldn't celebrate yet, but we're in a decent position. They get their beaver. They summon another beaver. And I don't want them to have twos because sprite plays. Uh, okay. Go, go, Jormungandr. No twos for you. That's some tasty beaver. And then what I'm going to do, because they have nothing I can destroy anyway. They're just stalling again. Yep, someone guessed it in the chat. We're going to activate Barone de Fleur. Um, we're going to summon back Vala. Because when Vala is summoned, she summons back something else. Just get back Nidhogg. Like Roadhog, but with fundamental differences. So I can get a monster negate. I could get a card draw. Or I could banish something from their hand. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead. We'll go for the hand banish. Yeah, now we can activate this and it doesn't help them. Because they draw a card, but they instantly just attach one. Yeah, I gotta attach this. Okay, go to battle. Attack. I can't attack directly. But now I can make a very big Zeus. Two activations. All right, and with that chat, I think we did it. We get to rank up. I don't know what they could possibly have. Just in case it's Havnus, let's not even risk taking out of their hand. Let's just go in with the end of Blathnir. And with that, Diamond 3 is we. And by we, I mean me, which also rhymes with three. I should have just said that, but... This is an improvised show. Sometimes you make subpar rhymes. That's just the nature of the beast. And the nature of this beast is to get into Diamond 3, baby. So, so uh, I don't know why I'm right. We did it. That's the point. We got it. Well, you know what they say. Another day, another donut. And today's donut is more generators or something. I don't know. I'm not very good at introducing stuff. But anyway, it's a new day. It's a new stream. And uh, we've gotten some upgrades. They have, they've changed the pack. Usually this happens at the halfway point in the episode. But we started a bit later than usual. So they have added the new shop with the new pack. And it has the cash tiras in it. Now fortunately it doesn't have all the cash tiras. They didn't add a rise heart. Which is their big boss monster. Which is the thing that everyone hates. Um, but we did get all the littler ones. Including two of the Fenrir. Released at two. We've got those, we've got new Chaos stuff, we've got the new Sky Striker stuff, which is interesting. I don't think this was released in the OCG or TCG until much later. We got some new Valence stuff, which is kind of neat, and these like Draco Slayer pendulum things. So, a couple pendulum archetypes, the new Cash Tira things, which I believe they still have the ability to do the zone lockdown, but it's not super consistent, and you can break it if you open with a hand trap. And then all the Chaos stuff, which I don't know hardly anything about except for this Chaos Angel. This is, I believe, a staple in most light and dark decks. Because it says it takes a tuner and a non-tuner light or dark. But for this Synchro Summon, you can treat a light or dark monster as a tuner. So it's Synchro Summoning without tuners. If you just get two, two monsters whose levels equal 10 and one of them is light or dark, you can make this, which is a 3500 that banishes a card on Summon. Not the strongest thing, but it's still a good extra deck toolbox tool. And of course Fenrir, which is like the next upgrade in the Cyber Dragon slash Pankratops line. We'll just go ahead and read this right now for anyone who's somehow not familiar, people who just follow through Master Duel. If you control no monsters, special summon this from your hand. Um, it's got 2400 attack, level 7. And then during the main phase, you can add one Cash Tira monster from your deck to your hand, which can include another copy of this. It doesn't say except Fenrir. So you can play a package of just two of these and it just searches another one for next turn. And then when this card declares an attack, 
or if your opponent activates a monster effect, target one face-up card your opponent controls, banish it face down. So it's removal, it's a 2700, it's a free level 7, it's just a nice staple. And we're probably going to be opening some of these packs just to see if we can get a couple of these. Because I, I feel like it can't hurt, you know? Especially going second, we could just throw in two of these into our deck and, and see what's up. As for the rest of the decks, not sure if that'll really do anything, but I mean, I guess we'll find out. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. Before we go into these, we also got, because Worlds just happened, we have a special SR ticket. We get to open up a Arby's gift card and it's guaranteed to have a Royal SR. What will we get out of it? Will it actually be something useful? Well, we got Bolt S Cargo, so I mean, you know, what else could we want? Flip it up. Oh boy. A Royal Summon Dice. Just what I always wanted. This is the dumbest thing. <laughs> get more Royals that you can't break down. I guess I got two. What are these? Uh, these are just guaranteed to have an SR. Sure. Sure, we'll see what we got. They, they're not royals, but, uh, you know, SRs in the Arby's gift cards. Surely we got Gendo, the Aesthetic Monk, and a Fusion Parasite. I used to have a card I can't break down and will never play. This one's got a UR. Oh, and an SR. Law of the Cosmos. This is Jinzo support. So, you know, if we ever get completely taken over by trap decks... Well, I still probably won't play Jinzo. And then we've got this, which is a Desperado Barrel Dragon. It's kind of neat. If there's a Dark Machine deck, could maybe possibly be useful. Probably not, but uh, you know, we got it on camera. Thumbs up, Kon Konami. All right, our goal is clear. We must get two Fenrir and maybe some Unicorns too. I've been reading the Cash Tira stuff and a lot of it seems pretty good. Who knows, maybe, maybe the patrons will end up making me play this. Starting out, not a single ultra rare, not a not a one among them. But you know, that doesn't mean there aren't any hiding there. They might be in the closet. The only way to find out is to open them up. Well, that is an unfortunate start to the pack openings. We we did not get a single UR, but the next one is guaranteed. So, you know, now there's there's more of a chance. And we will be counting these towards our goal because we probably will use the the Fenrir's. Wow, still, they, they just got to put one at the very end. I, I have a bad feeling about this. But yeah, we'll, we'll keep track of how many gems we're spending total. But just keep in mind, 8k was for the base deck and everything after this is just trying to get staples for next time. And possibly this time. Hey, there's a Fenrir. They were hiding in surprise. Okay, one down, one to go. Oh, wow. Two ultra rares? Will this be the second Fenrir we need, perhaps? No, it's a Chaos Witch, which I guess I could read. Something to do with tokens. I don't care. And Ignis Phoenix, the Draco Slayer. So, I mean, you know, not awful. Not great either. <laughs> oh, hey! Hey, there we go! Two Fenrir! Easy peasy! 2,000 gems, two of, we didn't even need to spend more gems. I was asking chat how many it would take. They thought there would be so many, so many different things. And it turned out to be easy. Now granted, we're probably gonna wanna get like some unicorns in the future, maybe some Arise Hearts, maybe some other stuff. But for now, we got what we needed. I think we're good. Let's let's go ahead and put these into the deck. Just see how it is, and then, then we'll see how it is. Easy peasy. There we go. Allow me to introduce Fairy Odd Bosses Mark 2F. The F stands for Fenrir. Uh, literally all we did was just add in the two Fenrir. I couldn't decide what to take out. Not sure if we want to take two things out. We're just putting two Fenrir in there. We'll see how it goes. It should add some extra stuff, make things a little more interesting. Our win-loss ratio is still good, and with people trying out new decks, I think it'll only get better. So let's jump into the duels and see how we do. We open the Fenrir. And we got Max C. Max C will not help us very much here. This Herald might put in some work if we if we've got a Herald. If we get another fairy or something. Welcome to the labyrinth. 
Hey, there's a fairy! That's what we like to see, baby! How does Fenrir... I mean, Fenrir is a way to out the Lady Labyrinth. So there's that. Hello, it's me. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, we have to stop that one. It sucks to lose our Lopter. But if we let them trigger everything, we're gonna be in a bad way. Oh, hey, and now they, you know, they don't have a set card anymore. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, but they've got. <laughs> Best top deck! Best top deck of eternity! Uh, let's just add another Fenrir. Let's go ahead and go to the battle phase. Let's just attack this. When an attack is declared, we can banish one of these. Face down, even. Replay happens. Continue the attack? Yes. There we go. Uh, and then we'll activate the boss stage. <laughs> Yo, what up? I was generator the whole time. Bet you didn't see that coming. Fenrir doing work. All right, we just hope they don't have the ash for this. Oh. Well... I mean, that stops it, but it also doesn't trigger their things because a monster wasn't sent. And I can just activate the, the field spell again next time. So there's that. Now they got a face down. Oh, and a face up. Target one, face up card. Okay, so I can't banish the face downs with Fenrir. And they've got a big welcome. Great. Well, that's that's a good that's a pretty good top deck to get, you know. Having a good time. Hello, it's me again. Nice to meet you. You may remind remember me from last time. My name is Fenrir. I rear my fens, you know, from time to time. Uh no. No, I don't think I want you to do that. Stop it. Get some help. Let's go ahead and battle. We'll use the effect. I can only target this, but it still gets it out of contention. Continue the attack? No, I don't think I will. I think I'll be fine. Let's just go ahead and use this. Yeah, this should work. We'll get this. Okay, so Diviner of the Herald comes down. Activate the Diviner. We're going to send Triarchia, of course. Activate the Triarchia. Howdy. That triggers this. We'll get our level one tuner. And then we'll go ahead and make bar on the floor. We'll go ahead and put this bar right on the floor here. Should maybe have done that in the extra monster zone, but it's fine. Okay, so we can pop the face down. Ferret flames! <laughs> now that's a tech card, ladies and gentlemen. Do we... No, we still got the... Yeah, we're good. And I can still summon... Ah, two draws. Unfortunate. Yeah, you know what? I'll uh, stop them from drawing two cards. I'll do it. Okay, bouncing the Barone. Which still negates you. Let's go ahead. I think we're going to go for Utgarda here. They're going to get some stuff back. We're going to get some tokens. Oh, it's going to set it so we won't be able to banish... Damn it. So we'll go ahead and Fenrir. We'll banish the Torby. And we'll use this. Tribute off these two. Banish the back row. Stuff getting banished, dot JPEG. Going plus? I don't think so. Yeah, and they didn't think so either. So there we go. An excellent example of how Fenrir can help apply pressure. Yay, Fenrir. Okay, tiny change to the deck. Boss room is absolute ass, and the people who suggested it should feel bad for suggesting it. This is this boss fight is clearly superior. It's far better. There was never a time when I activated this and I didn't want to activate this instead, so we're tagging them out. This is 2F.1. <sighs> Oh, there's Cash Tira. Someone wanted to see this. Uh, yeah, we always stopping that. 
Because the main point of quest is just to get the, uh, the field spell. Getting the trap is a bonus that you can also get, but it's not necessary. Diabolos. Oh, I finally get to experience the, the thrill of having my entire, uh, life savings destroyed. I'd heard this could happen. Um, I thought my life savings were gonna get it zone locked. Yeah, I think we just do this. Diviner plays. Activate this one. And then we don't have access to the sprite because I opened with it. Um, sure. I like drawing cards. Who doesn't? Uh, yeah, so we just go for this. Yeah, I think we just make pep. Big pep. Uh, battle phase. Oh, okay. Well, I won't attack then. <laughs> uh, let's try this. Quest? Give me this. Do I want to add another one? Uh, yeah, why wouldn't I? Give me the boss fight. Your move! Let's go! Uh, do I just go for this? Yeah, they can't get over it, and if they activate anything, we can engage it. I'll try that. Token, 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 tokens. We get those tokens, baby, tonight. We get those tokens, maybe we'll fight. We got the tokens, and we get the tokens every day. I got the tokens, and that is what I say. The problem with Nidog is he just attacks over it. All right, I will negate that. Do that. And then we'll go ahead and do the boss fight. We'll activate one of these. Our opponent draws. And then because the effect is in once per turn, we'll do this. We'll make them get rid of something. So they've got to discard that. And then we'll get Utgard. Yeah. Let's get Utgarda. And we'll go ahead and use that now. Just get rid of the mind hacker. No more hacking minds for you. You've got one co and it's cash to rebirth. <laughs> Shit. Well, consider these trousers ruined. Shangra-ira. Uh, yeah, I'll gain a bunch of attack. And then it's banished. And then a zone gets locked. And then that's the end of the turn. Oh, monstrosity. We activate this. Target this guy. Summon two from the deck. Let's get these two. We don't want to activate anything. And then, chat, we're going to go for the biggest one. Oh, banish three from my graveyard. Oh, no. Three mats suck? Nah, baby. We're taking the whole board. Every last piece of the board. Four materials. The biggest Lavatin. I'm outie. We get the big snake. And then we're gonna grab you, and you, and you, and you. Slurp. <laughs> All the slurp. Big, big snake. Big, big snake. <laughs> Draw a card. Um, yeah, we'll attach this. Why not? Give me something as well. Oh, why, thank you. And that'll trigger the boss stage. Now we'll get Vala. Vala effect. We'll go ahead and summon back this guy. And then we can go ahead and make Phantom Fortress enter Blathnir. Big. Activate. Banish one card your opponent controls. Goodbye, Shanga Era. The 5,000 snake comes home to roost. I will equip all your cards to mine self. The world snake devours all. <laughs> all right. One more win and we can make it into plat two. And we get to go first this time. We've knocked on this door more than once. The first time they didn't answer. We got an unfortunate series of events, but this time I can feel it deep in my bones. 
The power of my skeleton will win this for me. All right, we've got a boss stage, an ash, and some kind of negate. So we've already got the boss stage. I don't feel like we need a lot, but let's go ahead and prosperity just for like three. Just a little prosperity as a treat. Let's see what we got. Nothing, it doesn't matter. Well, it's a good thing I only banished three then. All right, so what are the chances they open with two ashes, chat? Surely they don't have two of them things. All right, all right. I really don't know why they would, you know, I guess if they, they don't know what this does, but if you have an ash and you see they got a boss stage, why would you use the ash on the pot and not the threat? That's one of those skill issues you hear so much about. No! Also, no! Herald of Greenlight! Didn't see that coming, did ya? I can almost smell it. I can hear it from another dimension. Some Japanese man saying in Japanese, Who the hell plays Hor Herald of Greenlight? How was I supposed to know that was an option? I thought after the ash I would be fine. This is bullshit. <laughs> And it was bullshit! And thanks to the bullshit of the Heralds, they said this is stupid, and we rank up all the way into Diamond 2. D2, the Mighty Ducks are back, featuring uh, that, that actor guy that you would recognize if I showed him. The editor, put up the guy from Mighty Ducks 2. Yes. All right, so we've been doing pretty good. We did manage to break all the way into Diamond 2, but it's been slow going, and there's no denying that a lot of that is because of the Heralds. The, the hand traps are nice. Being able to negate spells and traps have done wonders, especially when people don't expect it. But the fact that they cost two monsters and the deck isn't all fairies just means that we occasionally get brick hands. So I think it's better to just get rid of those. I'm gonna replace them with the infinite impermanence and one cross out designator because max C's at like 90%, ash blossoms at like 60% or not even, it's like 80% or something like that. They're both really high usage. So being able to stop either of those will help out a lot. And that also just gets us down to a nice round 40. We'll try this for the other hour we have remaining of today's stream, see how that works. And then maybe next week when we start up again with the third session, I can try out that plant generator list that I was also looking at. <sighs> what? I just got to Diamond 2! Haven't I only lost one match? How am I already close to deranking? I don't want to derank, I just got here! Okay, I gotta, I gotta hope for a good hand here. Um, this is just about everything. Let's see if we can bait out any interaction they have first. We'll start with this, we'll do the Barone line, and then that'll insulate us against everything else. All right. Good, good. Yes, indeed. So they ash that so we can Vala. Summon the Vala. Bad to bow. Thank you for the hundred bits. We'll get this. That'll get Mardell. And I think what we want to do, actually, is, like, get this and then just shuffle it back with the boss quest. That way, instead of just getting the field spell, we get the field spell and backup. All right, and then we can use these two to make Labaton. There we go. Uh-oh! Oh, no! Nibiru jump scare. Well, they tributed this, which means I get my token, which means I can use this and the token to make final Sigma. <laughs> so take that, Nibiru. That's what you get when you let your heart win. Whoa. Oh, oh. So that sucked, but it didn't completely suck. All right, all right, all right. Yo, what up? Har, the boss of storms. This boy is storming, I tell you what. What can they activate? It's gotta be... All right, I did not expect that. Anyway, Maxi. Called by. All right, we've got an actual game on our hands. 
Okay, so they get the starter, I get the tokens, and then whatever they summon, I can just negate the effects. Oh, but it's red. I think we got this. They get something, but then they lose it, because that triggers the har. They do that, and then I do this, and now you're negated. I think they got confused over which effect was which. And now they have to send a monster. Yeah, they get rid of the Nibiru. And they summon one, and then before they can do anything, let's just activate another boss stage. They'll get that free draw, but we'll get to summon a Nidhogg. Good luck trying to make a rank 2 or a link 2 now, home slice. Oh, I could just negate that. They went through all four names. Yeah. Just stop that. Well, unless they've got uh, pixies. And they don't have pixies, so we can prevent ourselves from ranking down. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. One more. One more for tonight. We've hit our limit. Branded of some kind? Uh, yeah, we imperm this. Because it negates it without destroying it. Ah, I see. I mean, if you want that to go through so badly, what if I said no? Abysteal? Shit, I'm in defense mode. Maxi! Oh, you got called by too? No. I really should stop playing like Lightning Storm is still a thing in this... As soon as you stop playing around Lightning Storm, that's when you get hit by the Lightning Storm. Fortunately, these are probably- I only got one draw off Maxi, but it's probably the best thing I could have drawn. Let's go, Vala! Do 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 do! Vala Lopter! It's like a helicopter, but with fundamental differences. Go, go, Lopter! <laughs> right! Let's get Mardell! Activate the mortal. And then let's just go ahead and make Lavatin. That is a nice dragon you had there. Be a shame if it lost all its attack. Uh, let's go to battle phase. We just want to do maximum damage or do we want to get rid of the Magnemut? I feel like letting them make fours is more dangerous. Plus we can still absorb from the graveyard. 2000! All right, let's go! Old Godzilla was hopping around Tokyo City like a big playground when suddenly Batman burst from the shade. Hit Godzilla with the back grenade. A Godzilla got pissed and he tried to attack. He didn't expect to get blocked by Shaq, who proceeded to open up a can of Shaq Fu until Aaron Carter popped out of the blue and he started beating up Shaquille O'Neal and then they both got flattened by the Batmobile but before he could make it back to the Batcave Abraham Lincoln popped out of his grave pulled an AK-47 out from under his hat who Batman away with a rat-a-tat-tat -tat. then he ran out of bullets and he ran away because Optimus Prime came to save the day This is the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny Good guys, bad guys, and explosions as far as the eye can see, and only one will survive, I wonder who it will be. This is the ultimate showdown, ultimate destiny. Godzilla took a bite out of Optimus Prime, like Scurf McGruff takes a bite out of crime, but then Shaq came back covered in her tire track, and Jackie Chan jumped up and landed on his back. Okay, so I think I want to just take this out and take the thing out of his graveyard before he has a chance to send it off. So let's just make the, the better metal snake now. Attach cards, yes. We're gonna get this and you. You two get to be Ixy material. Just like you always wanted. Yippee! Merly! Uh, sure. Mill three. Draw a card. Sure. Activates Har. Send a monster to the graveyard, please. Kelbeck. Well, I gotta stop the Kelbeck. Can't be allowing that to happen. And they had the grief. 
And now the plays begin. Now they can do some shit. Kit Kalos. But they've already used Murley, so they can't do the Truffle Shuffle. Please attack the snake. It'll be very funny. Come on, you know you want to. Damn, they didn't want to. Uh, yeah, we'll Jormungandr here. Give me the card in your hand. What was it? Mudora? <laughs> uh, no, actually. I can give him the field spell. This will get Mala. Mala gets that back. I get another field spell. And then I can retain everything. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. There we go. So, Lopter says hello? What are you going to negate? That guy? Sure. Why not? And then what? You send your kick close? Oh, how clever. That will allow you to mill five cards. Such a lovely idea, milling cards, and then you'll be able to do all sorts of things. It would be a real damn shame if someone had drawn the called by the grave and banished you from the graveyard so that you get to mill zero cards. Get out of here, Tillerlint. You go back to the river you swam out of and go kiss with the fishes. Or sleep with the fishes or something, I don't know. Something like that. All right, ladies and non-ladies, here we are at the dawn of the third stream. And we're still at Diamond 2 because I didn't really have much time to play over the weekend, unfortunately. I kind of messed up the schedule. I had to do a bunch of extra stuff. So I didn't end up playing a bunch of duels, but I did end up testing a new deck. There's a version of Generator running around the TCG right now called Generator Invoked Synchron, which runs off the new Revolution Synchron. And I was like, oh, this seems really cool. I'll try that. And then I realized Master Duel doesn't have Revolution Synchron, so I can't actually do that. But uh, I found a workaround that still has very similar ideas. So we're just doing Generator Invoked Synchro, or, or Jizz, if you want. You know, if you want to be that kind of person, this is the Jizz deck. And uh, you may be looking at this like, we have seven field spells, Joe. What are you doing? These, this feels like it should interact. And that's what I thought at first, but there's one key thing that makes this all come together, and that's Ancient Fairy Dragon. If you don't know, level seven synchro. During your main phase, special summon a monster from your hand, can't conduct your battle phase this turn. Not super important. The big effect here is, during your main phase, Destroy as many cards in the field spell zones as possible. If you do, gain a thousand life points. Add a field spell with a different name from the destroyed card from your deck to your hand. So basically, we're trying to get a two card combo. That combo is Alistair the Invoker and Destrudo the Lost Dragon's Frisian. This is a level seven tuner. If it's in the hand or graveyard, you can pay half your life points, target a monster, reduce this card's level by that level, and then summon it. So basically, if you have this at any low-level monster, you could summon it out and then make a level 7 synchro. And what do you know, Ancient Fairy Dragon is level 7. So our whole idea is we need this. The field spell can search this. We need Destrudo. They've got a field spell that lets you discard a card to send it into the graveyard. If we can get this two-card combo, then we can summon Alistair, get the invocation to our hand, summon Destrudo, use these to make Ancient Fairy Dragon, send away whatever these two are to search boss stage. And then from there, because Ancient Fairy Dragon is a light monster, we can activate invocation, banish the Alistair, banish the Ancient Fairy Dragon, and get Makaba, who's like an Omni Negate. You discard a card and you negate a card of the same type. Perhaps mo more importantly, it is also a level nine, which means if, uh, oh, you don't get the field spell, but you just have Alistair and you open with World Legacy Monstrosity, well, now you can get two level nines out of the deck and then overlay them and, and end on like Levitin plus an Omni Negate. So it gives the, the deck a little bit more uh, fluidity. In a lot of ways, it seems almost like it's making it better at going first. And it does do that by giving you another Negate. But I think the more important thing is this, that it just gives you another normal summon. It gives you something you can do on follow-up turns if your plays get disrupted. And having those two engines, both the generator engine, getting you a monster every turn, 
and the Alistair engine allowing you to summon a fusion every turn is just going to hopefully allow us to go over the top a lot easier and close games out very quickly. At least that's the idea. So I haven't tried this out in the competitive mode on the ladder yet. We'll try it out, see how it works, and if not, we've still got generator plants. And we don't quite have the combo, but we're still, we're still in good shape. I mean, we've got everything. We're going to lead with the Alistair because in addition to everything else, this is great bait for like Ash, um, Imperm. You know, if they want to stop something, this is the great way to do it. We can, we have a Link 1 that's a light monster. Artemis, the Magistus Moon. And we can just Invocation. We'll make a Mechaba using this light monster and Alistair. I imagine everyone is familiar at this point with how in, in Invoked works. This is an old deck, but just in case you don't know. Banish cards, and then the fusion spell lets you target a card that is an Alistair that's banished, add it back to your hand, and then shuffle the fusion back into your deck. So next turn, you could just do it all again. So now that we have a negate for any kind of hand trap they want to do, let's go ahead and activate Val. <laughs> now we can do our uh, generator plays and not have to worry about being interrupted. Vala, of course, summons back the Lopter. So we get the, the plant boss, the boss of plants. She searches any generator on summon so we can get the boss stage. And like, I could monstrosity here and do more stuff, but I, I think I just want to save it. I think we're going to save it for now and we're going to go ahead and make uh, Levitin. We'll make Levitin and then we'll set Monstrosity. We can activate this during our opponent's turn if need be. And then another thing I learned by watching uh, MBT play this deck is that you don't always necessarily want to go for the uh, the Har right away. Usually I'd go for this because it's in a gate, but I found it's, it's actually a really smart play to try to get one of these on board. Not only because it increases the attack of everything and makes it more difficult to get over your cards to remove your tokens, but it also gives you some flexibility and gives you better follow-up. Okay, so end of the main phase. So what we're gonna do now... Oh, <laughs> that that was the dumbest thing I could have done. I clicked the wrong monster. But yeah, what we're gonna do before the end phase, it's like, oh, they're gonna try to go into uh, evenly matched. So now we'll get the spell trap negate. So now if they have the evenly matched, we're fine. Also, I just noticed we're up against Steve Jobs. <laughs> Yep, misclick. That's what happens when you're trying to look at chat and look at yourself and try to get things. Oh, hey, it's Unicorn. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and dump the last card. Why don't we? Look at the opponent's extra deck, banish a card. Yeah, go for it. I don't care. Goodbye, Snake. I still have another one. Uh, yeah. Because they threatened to go to main phase two, I'm going to assume that they have the ability to evenly match, so I don't want to destroy the one card they have on the field, especially when it's not a threat to anything. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. I was like, this will make them send one from their hand, and they sent from the field instead. But it came back. Oh, hey, another monstrosity. Fantastic. Yeah, go for it. All right, so now that they've got two monsters, let's just go ahead and deal with that, shall we? Two monsters on the field, we summon the World Serpent. And let's just take both of these monsters and put them on here before they can Ixie summon with them. Adventure token! <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, add from your deck to your hand. I think I do have to stop that because I don't want them to bounce stuff. Uh, yeah, you're fine. At this point, even if they have evenly, they have got too many face-up things to do anything with it. So I don't know, they can't activate evenly. They can't activate Lightning Storm. I don't think they have anything that could really stop me. <laughs> Use Birth to summon the level seven Griffin Rider. I guess that works. Yeah, I guess I'll negate that. I thought I'd be able to negate it with this, but I, I done goofed. Equip it to the card, but it's only once per turn, right? End phase. All right, let's... Okay, we don't have to. I was like, end phase, we can just summon two level... Oh, wait, if we summon two level nines, they can't do anything. Uh, okay, we shouldn't have done that, but it's fine. We end up winning and we show off the strengths of this deck. Good job, me. I'll take the victory lap, even though I activated Alistair for no reason. <sighs> Ash. Yep, sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. 
Yeah, I'll max see that. You got level twos coming in, don't you? I I know a sprite when I sniff it. Alistair will fight your tiny whale. Take this, fiend! Haha! -ha! Good job, Alistair. You punched a whale. You punched a little seal! Goodbye, Alistair. You know, it wouldn't bother me so much that they could do that, but I still think it's to attack again. They should have to choose. Oh, hey. Okay, we get to try again. Magical meltdown. Magical meltdown. Time to see if we can melt it down. Melt it down. Melt it down. Aha! But what if I impermed your imperm? <laughs> Counter imperm! Your zone is locked! Oh wait, I can do the combo now. Yeah, we destrudo here. Half my life points, half of them. Kachunk, kachunk. Uh, AFD, AFD, tell me what you want to see. Uh, and then we'll activate this. Destroy the field zones. It's fine that I paid half my life points. I didn't know. They had two of them things. Got a minefield. So many zones locked down. Well, okay. Put it in this one. No! <laughs> they had everything! God damn it! Well, at least I can get Alistair back. Well, there's next turn. Although Fenrir will be back online. Oh, this is death on board. I'm like, I'm fine. I've got a 3,000 defense wall. But I forgot they can banish it and then attack again. Ripperoni! Ripperoni! Okay, so we just go Mechabob. Artemis says hello. We got an Imperm. A very late Ash Blossom. A Druus Worm? Yeah, we gotta draw onto something or we're just dead here. This one Ash has to be like everything. Well, Uh, I, I can't allow them to do that because that gets them right into fucking... <laughs> that gets them into Mirror Jade with the Link. Sure, we'll just activate this now. Oh, I thought they were gonna send this off. Oh, hey. Activate in the middle zone. Ignore the bubbles. The bubbles means it's the best zone. Just, oh. They didn't fall for it, chat. <laughs> I'm just waiting for someone to be, ooh, bubbly. Bubbles means it tastes like delicious carbonated soda. S-O-D-A soda. So, 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 Well, I left home just a week before, and I've never ever seen a branded before. But Japanese player, they set me straight, of course. They said, go to Albaz and we'll show you the force. Well, I'm not the world's most intimate man, but I know what I am. What I am is a man, and so is Albaz. A-L-B-A-Z, Albaz. al 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 Albaz. Do 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 ba do <laughs> They're just going hard. They're like, we could inflict all the damage. You're like, you could. You could do that. You could inflict so much damage, I wouldn't be able to do anything. If I didn't have this singular card. Special summon level 9 from my hand? Why, yes. Why, yes, I think I will. I have this very girthy gentleman here with 3,000 defense. And uh, he's not going to allow you to do all this direct attack and nonsense that you're thinking about. It was a nice attempt, but, uh, <laughs> booty too big. Oh, no. And now they're going to just, they're just going to send him away. 
Goodbye. I'll remember you all in therapy. I think I need to stop that. I was hoping to save that for the Masquerade so I didn't take all the damage next turn, but I think I got an out to it anyway. I think I'm... Ooh, am I... Do I... Can I do the thing? Do I... No, I don't have a fire monster. Do they have a fire monster? Dark, dark, dark. No. No, they don't. But I'm glad I looked because they have that and I need to get rid of that. Let me just... Let me just do a little calculation here. I need to activate that. That's one... Uh, two, three, four. So it's four times 624. Okay, I can, I can, I can do that. The tax dragon cometh. No? No, why are you putting that back? That was critical to my plans! I think I could still do it. Send this off. We'll get, yeah, we get Vala. We don't activate her effect. We activate monstrosity. We gotta activate this so we have some kind of follow-up. Then we can combine all three of our monsters into the mighty Lavatin. She's coming. Ba-dum bum ba -dum. Big. Uh, do we attack first and then activate it? I think the answer is yes. Do-do-do. If a face-up fusion leaves the field. Okay. So we can attack the Albaz. Just do some damage. Then we activate Lavatin. Tribute off. Summon Jormungandr, the mighty snake of legend. Attach a monster? Yeah. We'll attach this and this and this. Nice fusion board. Be a shame if someone gobbled it. Yeah, we'll activate this effect. You can have this one back. Oh, uh, what do I want? I think I want to give him this one. Yeah, because I'm almost out of level nines. That's a quick effect, you know it. 4,000. Bonk. Oh. Uh, sure. And you know what, just in case, let's just make a big fat Zeus. Biggest Zeus. The Zeus caboose is on the loose. They have literally one card and we're about to get a negate for that one card. So I think we're good. We have defeated the taxman, the taxman cometh, and the taxman dieth, equipped to Zeus. All right, so this was a neat idea. It was fun to try out and to experiment, you know, play around with Destrudo, see what you can get. And uh, you know, for what it's worth, it, it worked pretty well. The problem is this is the worst possible format to be playing this. Because we have two cards, Destrudo and Alistair, that both need to be in the graveyard for us to make our plays. And this is a format where bestials are everywhere, and they can just banish these dark, dark monsters out of the graveyard during my turn and prevent me from doing all the combos. So, as fun as this was to try, I think we're going to set this aside and we're going to try out the generator plant build that I got from, uh, I, my Spanish is terrible, but I, they're, they're a pretty famous Yugi tuber. I think it's El Exordio del Dulista. And I guess whoever's editing, if you want to put up like a picture of their YouTube channel or something so people can read it and see what it's like, they're, they're pretty cool. All they do is replay content, but visually editing wise, they've got like the best replays in the business. If you want to start a replay channel now you've got to compete with them and they've got they've got really good assets and everything and they have this very interesting build it's basically uh all centered around sunseed genius loci it does this combo that i'm not going to explain because you will see it and it's kind of complicated but in going through it you're going to summon mardell who is a plant that's where the plants come from which will get you into the boss stage and then also let you end on Bagel Lancer, which I call Bagel Tech because I can't pronounce that for the life of me. And this is during the main phase, quick effect, target an effect monster your opponent controls, take damage equal to its attack, and if you did, return it to the hand. So it's a 2500 that bounces. We get a compulse in addition to everything else, which should be a little bit better, especially in like a format where tears are everywhere, where um, Branded wants to do a whole bunch of stuff. This feels like a pretty, pretty good tech card. Now we're still not quite solving the problem of going second. We do have a little bit of a better tech in Triple Tactics Talent, but it's still just relying on hoping we can do Sunseed combos 
And then if those get interrupted, start the uh, the generator combos, if we have them. It's not great, and I'm, I'm thinking this probably won't do very well either, and we'll have to go into a more pure generator build that just has a whole bunch of, like, go second tech cards and hand traps and stuff. But for now, we'll try this out. You know, why might, might as well. We'll just mess around, see if it works. Maybe we'll be surprised, and if not, we'll be back here with another deck profile. <laughs> Okay, slight, very small change to the deck. Uh, we just we just got out of a duel, and I realized how weird the the ratios were. They weren't really prepared for the master duel format. I just kind of took this deck as was, and that was a mistake. So we added in a Nidhogg, which we weren't playing, which is really good against Cash Tira, and we also changed up the extra deck a little bit. Now we've got the the Underworld Goddess. We've also got a IP Mascarena. Should make things a little bit better. This is version 6.1, tiny changes. <sighs> hey, sometimes that's all it takes, baby. Sometimes that's all you need. Ooh, that allows us to do generator plays even if this gets messed up, which it probably will. Let's see what they got here. Normal summon the seed. Okay, seed goes into dry ass. Time to get a dry ass. Chunk. Activate the effect. Add a Sunseed spell trap from deck to hand. Ash Blossom. You know, I probably shouldn't do this because if they have max seed, then I'm mega owned. But in an attempt to actually show the combo, let's try this. We get the uh, Sunvine sewing. Time to pretend we're a tailor. Activate sewing. So sewing is going to. Yep. Yep. Should have known. Now we're gonna get mega, mega owned. Uh, okay. So we summon this from the deck. Don't put it underneath there. Very important. Gain a thousand. Because I took life point damage, I can summon one from the extra deck and then gain back. She lets me gain an additional 300 life points. Yay. Yeah, and this is this is the problem with taking a deck from the, the uh, TCG. I'm realizing. So then we're gonna use these two. We're gonna make a Jasmine. Yeah, because in the TCG, where you don't have to worry about Maxi, doing like, it, that's the thing, is I'm doing a play that literally just searches me a field spell. But under Maxi, it requires them to draw five cards. Uh, can I FTK them though, is the question. Part of me is like, okay, I could stop here and then just pass on that and let them play with six cards. Or I could try to, uh, so let's see. Let me let me count this up and actually do it. Plus 3,000 from the snake. That's exactly, if they have no interruption, this will OTK them. So we're gonna try it, baby. We're gonna go for it. Melly ass. Look at the little ass tree fucker. Summon a Sun Seed from the graveyard. They appear to have something they can activate. Uh, okay. Behold! Bangle Lancer! And then we activate this. Summon. Activate. Summon the Nidhogg. And final summon- oh. Oh no. Oh no, I messed something up. Oh no, something locks me into plants and I missed it. Oops, oh, sun v vine sewing. I was locked into plants long, I should have stopped. Should have just stopped. Oopsie doopsie. We're, we're not coming out of this one alive, gents. We almost did. We almost got him, but mistakes have been made. Uh, what's one more card among friends, right? Might as well. Do we have no way to burn? Nope. <laughs> Rank nine cowboy win. You'd think there would be one. Even if there was, there's not a plant. Oh, and they have the heartbeat. I could feel your heartbeat for the very last time. They got a Guido. They got a Kelbeck. Bengal Lancer's gonna do a lot of heavy lifting here, chat. Hyperatron only negates on the opponent's turn. Ripperoni. All right, they've got the Sheeran. Call them Ed Sheeran. I mean, they've already drawn a bunch of cards. If they keep milling like this, they might mill out. Oh. 
I was not expecting that. I forgot that they could make a dang old grapher. Well, there you go. And that's why Max C is awful. Oh, hey, look, it's Max C. Zod. Yep, I need to just start Max Cing in the standby phase, I guess. Well, they've turned off the plant portion of the deck. You don't play two? I need both of them in order to do the combo. I mean, I could do stuff. Uh, let's unexpected die, shall we? Why don't we just die? Oh no, my seed goes to defense. Let's dry our ass. So now I can search the, uh, the Sunvine Sewing, but I can't activate it. Because I don't have another Sunseed monster in the deck. So all I got is the Sewing. All I can do is sew. So 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 your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. If they move this to attack, then we've got them. Oh, they did it! The fuck? Claire one monster card name. Your opponent looks at their deck, reveals it, and if they have it, they choose it. Are, are you gonna say Max C? I mean, I have called by, so it's fine. They're, th they're taking a while. They must be playing on Xbox. They're selecting each letter with a thumbstick. Either that or they're doing a Google search to be like, what the fuck do I choose? They're looking at Master Duel meta. What's the most played card? Nagglefar, the generator boss of fire. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have that in my deck. I don't, I don't know why I would play. The fuck are you doing? Duh. Okay. Yeah, we do this. No Har, no Vala. They picked, they picked the worst generator. The one that just has 3,200 attack and no effect. Did you draw a card? Activate the boss stage. Cause I'm the boss. You think that will save you? Get wrecked, Scrublet. Get out of here. Get them all out of here. Um, this is during the main phase. Okay, so I can't use that one. So we're gonna get Utgarda. I'm gonna banish that because I'm tired of dealing with it. Give me all the tokens. I would like every token, please. At least four tokens. And then we'll just we'll just banish stuff. Goodbye. Baguska's like, you that I'm getting rid of that token. Oh, did you just did you just take some damage? Give me one second, I'm I'm summoning. I'm gonna get that plant combo one way or another, you know, we're gonna do it the slowest way possible, but we're gonna get it. What about Zeus? You make a forceful argument. Yep, let's do it. Oh, they are confused, chat. Oh wait, I'm confused, this is light. Why is the rock one light? Oh, and it doesn't, okay. Well, for some reason I thought that would still resolve. It did not. The monster has to remain, it fizzled. Turns out we're the dumb ones. I have one in the grave, right? Yeah. Let's do this. Special summon. No! <laughs> they had Fenrir in hand, son of a bitch! Welp, you can't banish me, I quit. I have to banish this or else they could just get it back. Special summon one that is banished or in your hand. Having these plant cards is not helping me in any way, Batman. It's good for that go first combo, but if they interrupt that, you're in a bad way. Uh, I, I went against the worst player ever and I still lost. Son of a bitch. Yeah. The power of playing a whole bunch of starters. I think they were playing like Madolce Cash too. Yeah. See that that's why I didn't didn't even think about them having the other stuff in their their deck because I assumed it was mostly a Madolce deck that just had like Ogre, but for some reason they're playing one Ogre, two Fenrir, one copy of the trap. No birth, they just got the one copy of the trap. Just one. Just one. <sighs> All right. Oh no. 
why is everyone on this? This deck isn't even that good. Uh, yeah, let's do this. If they don't already have the birth, we'll be in good condition. Well, there goes Nidhogg in one of my boss stages. There's Shangit Ira. The question is, what can I do from here with fucking Dimensional Fissure? Uh, yeah, we're just gonna stop you there, Chief. I can't do the full combo. I think I might still be able to do part of it. We'll see. I mean, it depends if they have Ash. If they have Ash, then, uh, this ain't gonna do shit. Okay. So, my seed gets banished. Nothing new for me, you know, just a regular Friday night. We'll go ahead and grab the, uh, Sunvine Sewing. Oh, they saved the Ash for that. Um... There we go. And then we have to do this, which gives them a draw, but it gives us the ability to do stuff. Activate that. Boss stage comes out. And yeah, we want to get Lopter. Give everything more attack. Yeah, I guess they can have Ogre. Oh, they summon from the deck. Fucking damn it! Oh, our one Nidhogg got banished, didn't it? Yeah, like, we can banish it, but they don't care is the problem. Yeah, I guess we still summon this. Uh, yeah, let's stop this. I don't want to lose anything, and I don't want them to make a rank 7. They have to have exactly birth and a card in hand in order to do anything. They're going for Zeus. Oh, they got rid of the Floodgate, and they got rid of their own Fenrir. Summon Fenrir. Okay. Shouldn't they have banished that when they attacked? It has to be face up. Well, there we go! There's something, chat! We got the top deck, baby, this evening. We got the top deck, baby, alright. Yeah, we go for Vala. Activate Vala effect. They'll banish. I'll be like, oh no! Anyway. Still get to summon this. Give me that last boss stage. Yeah, let's triple tack. Uh, I will take the Fenrir. Chop. Give me that Fenrir. Uh, battle phase. 24. 24. IP Mascarena. Ball stage. The only card I need. Let's go! We'll go for this. We'll go one and two. Oh, we just go back for Har, right? Yeah. Har and a bunch of tokens. Uh, yeah, we stopping that. No birth for you. Get out of here. Uh, people are like, you can't do the white woman with tokens. That's true. I can do the white woman with these two, this, and that. Oh, so there we, we finally won a game with the plant version, but, uh... Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, so after trying out the plant version, it also becomes very clear almost immediately the big flaws with that. Namely, that it loses harder to maxi than any other variant, because it has all those. And, you know, that list was for the TCG. So there you can, like, summon four or five times just to get boss stage. Here, not really worth it. Oddly enough, if we got, like, maxi, and then we drew into, like, two of our seeds, then, like, a whole bunch of other cards became useless. So it wasn't worth it. So we're gonna go, we're just gonna try pure generator, pure ish generator. We're back on the diviners because they're more likely to get our combo started. 
But even going second, you can do something like send Entis to pop a card. You can go into Barone to help insulate some of your plays. I feel like that's good as far as a, a normal summon. Better than the Alistair package in the modern day. And then the big change is now we've got a uh, Thunder King, the Lightning Strike Kaiju. We're playing Kaijus. These are really good against Cash Tiro, really good for going second. And they're also just level nine monsters. So if we happen to get two of them, we get one on our side. We can use them to overlay. We can use them with World Legacy Monstrosity. So there, there's a chance we could do something with those. We've also got the one Foolish Burial. We're on the one Trias Hierarchia with the one DD Sprite. We're playing one boss fight with one boss quest. There's a chance that these three that are kind of like tech cards, we might take these out for like evenly matched or something later. But I think that's going to go pretty good. The extra decks, mostly what you're used to. I think the only thing new in here is that I'm trying out Earth Slicer. Good uh, destruction card. Fairly decent against Cash. Although, I think if you're going against Cash, you can't go wrong with a, with a Leviton. Leviton's probably better. But we'll see. This is version 7. We've got like 20 more minutes of this, this stream. Let's see how far we can get. <sighs> We're going up against so much cash earlier that it's like, now we make the anti-cash deck and it's like, hey, how'd you like to fight pure punk? How'd you like to fight grave keepers? Share if you play. Share if you play. Uh, this is actually kind of a problem for us. Go ahead and try it. Let's send, uh, Hi there, that is a nice field spell you have. Be a shame if someone popped it. All right, <laughs> battle phase. Take 500, Scrublet. How did you get into Diamond 2? Uh, no, I don't want to attack the Metal Reflect Slime, thanks. Uh, I don't want them to turn that into an Egyptian god. Yeah, you can have this. Enjoy! Judgment! Consider these actions judged. Yep. Ouch, my most of me. That's about as good as it gets. Unless they've got like exactly, I think, DD Crow? Or maybe like Solemn Strike would probably do it. In perm first to stop any Solemns. You know what? Now, so, you know what? We'll do it. Just to make sure, let's lock down whatever that back row is. I don't want to have to deal with it. It's Compulse. Huh. Yeah, I know, right? That's what I'm thinking. Twas Compulse killed the beast. Oh. I mean... I don't care. I'm out of here. I ain't going to the hand. Let's go, Mardell. Do, 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 do. Let's grab uh, the field spell. And then let's just do like stupid shit, right? Summon the laser beam. I think we earth slicer it. That does more damage. Oh, that just wins us the game outright, actually. Time to slice the earth. And there we go. We beat. We beat whatever the hell that was. I, I One bad day? Was that a one bad day deck? Let me check that. Just be like, how the hell did you get up here? Yeah, this is just one bad day. This is just like, I'll stop those decks. Just you wait and see. Fossil Dyna, Barrier Statue. I'll put Necro Valley on the field to stop the tier decks. Moon Mirror Shield, Pot of Extravagance, Magical Mallet as the 41st card, because there wasn't enough consistency before. They're playing Stygian Dirge to stop the Ixie Summon. Just reduce all the levels by one. And of course, Armory Call, plus Macro Cosmos, plus Mirror Force. Oh, you want to just, you want to Lightning Storm me? The huge revolution is over. Yeah, this is this is what we call the one bad day deck. There's there's everyone, you know, they have that one bad day where they get so fed up with the meta, they're like, no, no one gets to have fun. I am just making the anti-fun deck and no one else can get away with it. Well, I have no disruption and I'm going second. 
I think my life is forfeit. My life may or may not be forfeit. The Kashtiras are preparating. Yo, what up? The Ascendant of Thunder has ascendant it did. Ghost Bell? Barong. Well, I'm not getting I'm not getting my life savings vanished. That's cool. I like oh mmm ah that's what we were looking for. That's what we were hoping. That's what I'm counting on. That's a nice barone. Would be a shame if suddenly it was a dragon. Ah. So let's get one of our own, shall we? Well, we can hit the... Yeah, because we've already got it in hand. We can hit the Entis. Entis will pop the only cash on field, so they can't use the traps. I thought this was after the effect... Re oh, they're doing it in response to this. Okay. Oh, shit. I hope they don't banish the DD Sprite. Okay, good. They didn't hit the DD Sprite. We're fine. They didn't know. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Hello there, ladies and gents. Are you ready to rock? Now it is I who gets the barone. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for bar on the floor. Chunk. And let's just pop that kaiju, because I don't want to have to deal with that. Get that shit out of here. Yeah, I'll negate that. Might as well. I'm going to be negated anyway. And we just hope this other background isn't anything insignificant, you know? If they have the called by and they've been saving it all this time, I may be in for a spot of bother. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we'll just... Oh, wait, this is 5,000, isn't it? Yeah, I don't, need, I don't need to do anything anyway. I forgot they used Descendant of Thunder. That, that'll put you... That'll do a spot of bother for you. I thought this was about to be a grind game, but no, we're good. <laughs> KO! All right, one more small deck change. This is another 0.5 added on there because we just got out of a duel and I realized I forgot a lot of very important extra deck monsters. When we were rebuilding this one, we didn't look back at the old one and I was sitting there like, hmm, what did we forget? We put in like an IP Mascarena and a Nightmare Unicorn and I completely forgot that like St. Joan is actually very important here. We, we lost a duel because I couldn't make another rank nine even though I had this. Um, and also, we didn't have any of the, the synchros. Psychic End Punisher, being able to make this with uh, Diviner of the Herald in any level 9 is good. Uh, Final Sigma with any level 9 plus Ash Blossom can somehow close out games. So uh, yeah, we're just, we're just putting that back the way it was. Version 7.5, we'll take that next time we stream. All right, ladies and non-ladies, here we are, dawn of the fourth stream, which means we're officially halfway done. Three streams lie behind us, three streams lie ahead of us, and we're still stuck in Diamond 2, but now we're no longer messing around. We're no longer mucking around. I may even curse to explain how no longer around we are, but we're here. And we're playing the same deck, I think I introduced it in the last session, but it's basically just pure generator at this point. I think this is better than all the mixed variants. The mixed ones just add more stuff to the initial starting combo, and that's not our problem. We're pretty good going first, it's going second. So right now our going second tools involve Thunder King, Maxi to some extent, and Infinite Impermanence. Depending on what we go up against and what kind of stuff we face, we may end up changing out these for different tech cards. But I think going forward, the plan uh, for today is to just pure generator with different tech cards to, to face the meta. And hopefully we can rush our way into master at the end of this stream and then go up from there in the next two streams. Just see how far we can go. And we're going to get another Vala. You don't really want to top deck her, you just want to put her in the graveyard. Tokens first, chain link to Vala to get the, the guy out of the graveyard. And yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure I explained this last episode, but just for the people wondering why I'm not going straight into Har, I've just found out that it's a lot better to, you know, basically rely on it. You want to end your turn with as many monsters and as few tokens as possible on your board. So even though this makes us weak to whatever the first thing they activate, we can't negate it. It allows us to, once we do get stuff on board, end our turn hopefully with like 
you know, Big Snake, plus Lopter, plus Vala, all these big monsters with a whole lot of attack. Plus we can choose what we want depending on what they've got here. Yeah, so we can Lopter here. I think against this, we want Har. So what do we do against Evenly? We could, we do this. Uh, yeah, go ahead, add it. And then you must discard a card. I will check to make sure you have discarded it. Ah, muda muda muda. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Make them discard a card from their hand. We can negate whatever they summon. This way puts them down an extra card. Or I could just snake now and take both of these. Yeah, we just negate the Chaos Ruler, right? Easy peasy. Howdy. Oh, and maybe I should have... Eh, it's fine. Two level eights. All right. Overlay those for Chaos Vampire. We've seen this before, this big 60-card punk deck. They're just trying to mill. And we just want to be like, no. No mills for you. No. No, stop it. Now, of course, if they have Evenly here and they've just been saving it, now we're probably screwed. Although we can just retain the, the Levitin and then activate the Called By, so it's not that bad. We still get double removal and a big snake. Oh. Oh. Well, that has to be dealt with. Oh, fuck! I think that's the first time she's been done like that. Um, okay, well, we have one more option. Yeah, we have to do this, because Protoss... Yeah, if they pick fire, that gets rid of, like, everything. Yep, we're just doing this. So we activate a boss stage, and they draw a card. Levitin is taken care of. Boss stage activates. We get Utgard. And then we trigger the Utgard. We'll get rid of that, and uh, I think we get rid of the Har, so we can just bring it back. And we banish the Protoss. Get that shit out of here. I don't want to have to deal with it. Uh, that is unfortunate. There's nothing I can do about that. All right! We survived the turn just barely, and I'm realizing I'm a little too big. Make myself a little more smaller. Oh, just in time, buddy. Um, okay, so I don't have Har, but I can do the Vala. Yeah. Vala. Vala get back. Mardell again. Mardell, search me another boss stage, probably. Yeah, we just get another boss stage. Just a backup, you know. Oh, it appears as if their internet is having some troubles, chat. Luctose may have had too much fructose, if you know what I mean. I don't, so please explain. Either way, we get ourselves a win. First duel of the day. Setting the, setting the, the, setting the something. What would it be? Setting the, uh, the pace? Yeah, we're setting the goal. We're setting the, the thing. We're, we're doing good. I just porky picked myself there. All right, one more win, and we're going up into Diamond 1, and we win the coin toss, baby. We're up against James Bond. They know my name. dun 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 well, we started with our one of. That's no good. Uh, we did get Vala plus Mardell. Ah, Max C. No. Please stab. I don't want to deal with that. Get your shenanigans out of here. All right, activate. We'll summon the Vala. And even if they have DD Crow or something for this, we can normal summon this and at least make a uh, bar on the floor. Huh. Mardell is a light. Yeah, I forgot about that. Unfortunate, but we could just, we could do that thing I said. Although it sucks that they got the one that's actually, like, removal. Um, yeah, we just normal summon this. It's not as good, but it's alright. Bada bingo. Bada jango. Let's see, do we just pop this to deny them the resource and then use that? 
I feel like that might be the best way to go because otherwise they can like chain block this with summoning stuff and I might not have the ability to negate it then. So let's just go ahead and pop the Druis. And it's like, well, that's unfortunate, but what you gonna do? All right, all right. We're still good because we opened with the boss stage. They're down two cards and we're still gonna have stuff. Maybe things, unless they've got an Ash Blossom too. It does not appear as though they have the Ash Blossom. Let's go! <laughs> Call me a 420 master, cause I'm token. <laughs> ah, unfortunate. We'll go for the Har. They're gonna search. I've been told that Har does not trigger the, um, the tier limits. We're, we're gonna find out if that's true. Now, it does trigger all the, uh, Agito and Kelbeck and stuff, so if they have that, we're gonna be in some trouble. Okay, they add the Sheeran. Activate. Do they send the Sheeran not knowing? That would be cool. They did it! Does it trigger? Doesn't look like it! <laughs> Player sending effect. <laughs> so we just got them to discard one of their playmakers. That's nice. Yeah, and we just stop this here, right? Like, well, let me think. If they have another one in hand, no, we just negate the one in graveyard when it comes down. That way they've triggered one. And we could just be like, no. Get that shit out of here. I don't want to have to deal with it. Hey, there we go! Oh, the power of horror compels them! I'm glad whoever told me that because I would have not have thought of that. I would have summoned Utgarda originally. If I had, we wouldn't have done nearly as well. But the Yu-Gi-Oh knowledge mostly gained from other people telling me stuff has come in and we go to Diamond One. <sighs> Uh, yeah, we can't let them search with blue. Pixies? Hey! Been trying to meet you. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh. Comment in the comments if you get the reference. If you don't get the reference, go listen to the Pixies. Do a little. The album, great, amazing. 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100. They don't have another frog in the, the deck, though. Uh, I was hoping to save this on the frog, but I can't let them summon two from deck. Get out of there. Can't believe- don't they usually only play one nimble angler because you just send it from the deck to the graveyard with something? Or am I just mistaken? No, you play two. They just happen to open two. Okay. I guess I should have known. It is Sprite. They're like two the deck. Everything's at two. Wait, do they have anything that stops the um, one girl? Not great at this point. Yeah, we just go for this. Everyone goes down to zero. What interruptions? They don't have anything in the graveyard. It's just the back row and IP for the most part, right? Yeah. Let's just do this now. Doesn't target. Link now or forever hold your peace. They're just bringing back blue while they can. I can't do anything about that. All right. We get big snake. Attach cards. Yeah, we'll attach this and this. Yoink. Yoink. Oh, did you add a card? Time for me to summon... Uh, so the snake cannot attack and its effects are negated. I don't think I want to give them a draw. Yeah. We good though, we good. Oh? Mary Melfies. Yeah, we go for this. Then they activate that. And we're like, uh, you know I can negate, right? Surprise! And that is all their interaction. So the question is, we flip this now, it gives them a draw. 
We summon Vala from the deck. Vala gets back a thing, and then we just make another one of her, right? Yeah, it's worth giving them the draw. Yo, what up? Of course, they the one draw was Maxi! Son of a bitch. Oh boy. So I was like, it's worth it to give it one draw. Is it worth it to give them... They get one off of this, one off of that, one off of that, but we discard and we get... Yeah, they're low on resources. Let's go for it. Let's go ahead and get Mardell back so we can get an extra draw ourselves. Or not an extra draw. Let's go for um, Lopter. We haven't normal summoned. And let's go ahead... Yeah, we just make her again. Uh, battle phase. We've got to run over this. And we've got to run over this. Uh, main phase two. We're going to use Foolish Burial. I believe we're still playing... There we go! Trius Hierarchia! Yo, what up? Okay. Set a card. End turn. Become big. And we just go straight into Har here. Yeah, I think we still go into Har, because everything they summon is going to activate. There's a thing of maybe going into Nidhogg to negate the summon, but I think this is still better, because they search a whole lot. Well, they've got a full hand, but we've got several disruptions. Oh, we can go into both. Good point. Oh, uh, cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay. Battle, we don't care. Go ahead, go into the battle phase. Um, during the main phase, if this is a card. Hmm. If they attack into defense position, we could be in trouble. But they won't because they'll take 3,000 damage, right? Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, they're attacking into something weaker. Battle phase declared. Activate in perm. Be a shame if you were destroyed by that battle. <laughs> they can still make Zeus. They have to make another Ixie first, and I think I can stop them from that. Evenly! I mean, that deals with that. Called by the grave! No! Well... Oh wait, is it in- it's in the Imperm Column! They played into the Imperm Column! <laughs> it had the- that's what you get for playing the blue field spell! You can't see the bubbles as well! Imperm. What do we do? We could take stuff out of their graveyard. Oh uh, yeah, we might as well. Let's go for it. Go for the snake. I have moved. Attach cards. Yeah, let's take their, um, their Frog. And Sprite Smashers has a graveyard effect, right? No, probably not. Uh, we're taking it anyway. They're activating that. How many fairies do we have? Two? Oh, but they get that anyway. Um, yeah. Now we go for the Nidhogg. Yo, what up? How's it going, buddy? Damn, they get another search. That triggers the Har, though. Did you search a card? Get rid of that card. He can... No, he can't Zeus, I don't think. Um, if this card... If this Link Summon card is destroyed by battle while it's in the monster zone... But it's not destroyed by battle, it's summon is negated. Yeah, if I negate the summon, then it's gone. It's not actually on the field, so he doesn't get the search. Hey, there we go! Oh, a true barn burner, if ever there was one. We always seem to get those against the sprites. Sprites are time limit win? What? What do you mean time limit win? Oh. Well, I guess they thought more than I thought. I didn't I didn't think they were anywhere near the time limit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got them. We did it.
It was a long one, but probably worth it. <sighs> All right, rank up duel going into Master One. Last time we got cocky, we went up against Tier Lament. Our soul was crushed. This time we're going first. This time we're gonna be we're gonna be on our ball. We're gonna be ready. We're gonna open the best hand possible in this deck. Well, it's it's a hand possible in this deck. Of course, if they have Ash here, it might be bad, but it doesn't look like they do. Two special summon. I can just do this, right, and then not have to worry about it. I guess it helps to chain block just in case they've got Ghost Ogre or something. Called by? Doesn't appear so. Tokens, tokens, tokens everywhere. The boss fight has begun. Show me what you got, yoinker boink. Welp, nope, they saved the Nibiru for my turn, for their turn. Furniture. Wait, what? On a normal summons, you contribute as many monsters, and if you do, special summon this from your hand. They still get to tribute. Wow. So I don't even get the token. I mean, they could bounce it anyway, so it's not great, but that is, that is, that is awful. My heart. How many decks is that actually useful against? <laughs> they get a Pizza Hut. All right. Well, we're boned. <laughs> Shit. So many gosh darn traps you wouldn't even believe. Big welcome. Well, we got another boss stage, so if they immediately get rid of one. Yeah, I guess we try this again. I feel like it'll just get, if they have like ID, uh, yeah, IDP, we're, we're fucked. It doesn't appear as though they have IDP. Okay, tribute this off. We know they have the thing, so we don't want to put a dark monster in the graveyard. So let's get Nidhogg, because it's going to be useless anyway. Uh, unfortunate. And then this destroys the field spell. Get the chandelier back. Let's go ahead and fire off this. So that triggers boss fight. Let's go for Har. They're letting it go through, baby! Lave a tin. Lave a tin. Lave a tin. Duka 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 duka. Lave a tin. Battle phase. Take this, Magnumut, you bastard. I prefer Papa John's! The Day of Reckoning is here! Let's do it, and then hope they don't have called by, because if they have called by, I am mega-owned. That is not called by. Neither is that. I think either way they're screwed here, because it's it target or it selects at resolution, right? Ah, oh, okay, they just don't summon any of their big stuff. Attach cards, yeah, and we want to take the big welcome and the furniture. Yeah. Do we want to activate this? Let's do it. We'll give them back the uh, Stovey Torby. That's unfortunate. But we have to do it. I've only got one Vala left. They gave me the triple tack. Okay. I feel like that would have been useful against me. Okay, well, an Ixie monster still attacked, so get trubbed, Scrublet. And then what we do, right, is as soon as our turn starts, assuming they don't ash this, we get Utgard. And then that allows us to get rid of the Bistial. Yeah, you better, Maxi. If they've got another goddamn Nibiru, I'm gonna shit my fuck. And then, yeah, we're just going to deal with this before they even have a chance. Get out of here, Druis Worm. All right! Drawing cards and drawing cards. Drawing draw cards all day long. Unfortunate. Yeah, we just got to hit this now. 
Fuck. It's clock time! I still have their big welcome, though. They've got another big welcome. And then they pop the, uh, the Zeus. Shit! Yeah, I think that's it, unfortunately. Wait, they pop the field spell? Yeah, they pop the field spell. Why would they do that? They can't just get out of the extra deck. They activated punishment last turn. Maybe they forgot about punishment? Entirely possible. All right. Draw a card. Draw phase, activate Zeus. Goodbye, board. I mean, to be fair, they're about to make a monster leave the field by a trap effect, so... I think they'll get everything, or most of everything, back. Or not. Activate Vala, discard Bossed Quest. Three, four, five, activate Vala. Summon Har. Three, six, seven, eight. Uh, it's is that is that it? Do you got do you got something else? Labyrinth card or effect was activated this turn. Quick effect, huh? I thought it was like in response. Do I just negate that? Um. What do I have left in my extra deck? Do I have another Leviton? I do not. The second, don't negate it. It's 2,900 defense, but then they'll have big welcome. They can't do both. Okay, I guess they can't do it. Okay, we, can, we get to retain both. You can only use one big welcome effect per turn. Oh, okay. We use these two and we make this. We activate boss stage. Uh, we activate the tree beast. Oh, we get to get a spell. Well, that's fine. Being able to negate a spell is still pretty good. So we've got a spell or monster negate, and we've got the board wipe. Plus whatever we can get off of this. We just gotta hope they don't have evenly. If they have evenly, we're fucked. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, we can just negate that set card now and they can't activate it, right? Yeah, this goes before they resolve. Oh no! Oh lord, what? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Waking the dragon! Oh heck, oh fuck. Who plays Waking? I've been bamboozled! I've been schmeckledorfed by the demons of Babylon! <laughs> The page from across the universe! <laughs> That's the... Um, so that might actually be pretty bad now that I think about it. It's just so weird to be like, you know, what do you use for waking the dragon? Baguska, but shit, dog. Now they can resolve their, their fucking thing and I can't do a goddamn thing about it. Um, I don't think you wanted to use the, oh, now they just get everything back. <laughs> Kaiju off the top? I mean, there's a pretty good chance I haven't drawn one yet. Phoenix to destroy the field spell? All right. I'm like out of stuff anyway. End phase, all right. Oh, Kaiju off the top. Oh, do I have what it takes to get over the Kaiju? Is Yeah, of course I do. Goodbye. I'll remember you in therapy. All right, and then we go into and to black near. Oh, I could just Zeus and win, maybe. Oh yeah, I just attacked the link. I don't need to do anything. Yeah, as long as they can't pop this, I just win. And I don't think they can because I still, no wait, the monster negates only during the opponent's turn. And I have their big welcome, so they can't use. Son of a bitch. 
I guess it depends what they they tickle. Zeus is gone. Change to attack. I have to negate the fucking Thunder King. Or I have to banish it. Yeah. Uh, battle phase. Yeah, I, I should have zeus What do they have? They've used all their big welcomes. They've used all the little welcomes. Yeah, we just negate this. Oh! And now they can just bounce it. Gotta be kidding me! Waking the dragon! Curse your soul! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Alrighty! We have been here three and a half hours, almost the entire time, and this is like the fourth duel knocking at the door to master one i i no longer have the excitement for it especially when we lose the coin toss maxi no we have is not great this in perm's gotta go brazy this in perm can't go brazy they've got everything all right what do we got that's not bad We'll start with the Prosperity. Why is Joan there? Joan makes Diviner of the Herald level 9, which means I can use World Legacy Monstrosity to get two more level 9s from the deck. Lopter. Yeah, so we do this. We don't. I don't think they have a negate, so they can't stop that unless that's called by. Bring back this. But this can tribute as a quick effect. Yeah, so... I just You're tribute off slow. the Lopter. Well, they wasted that. Go for the Mardell. Mardell gets a thing. Here comes the Arc Light. No, they made Merry Melfies. Target one monster, return it to the hand. Okay, and then we... World Legacies Monstrosity. Target this. They do that, and then... Yeah, we tribute this off. Alright, so all they have now is Mascarena. Hey, Mascarena, Mascarena, Mascarena. Go, Mascarena! All right. Uh, threaten battle, honestly? Why would I threaten battle? Oh, this is better. Yeah, we go for this. Yo, what up? Lave a tin. Lave in all our tins. Uh, yeah, I'll do this. Goodbye! Uh, yeah, I'll make the snake. And I'll take this. And they don't even have the... Do we take the Ronin Totem? Yeah. Yoink. Yoink. No Wixie summoning for you, thanks. And we did it! Oh, we activated the Levitin and they surrendered. And with that chat, that was like the least intro... We did, we did it. And with that... We make our way into Master 5. The generators have raided Master, and now it's only up from here, up, 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 into the echelons of Master to see how far this world can take us when the Jenner is raided. <sighs> Going second? Zero disruption. Oh, whoa. 9610. Monarchs? In this day and age? 
What hell hath fury like a monarch spurn? And they don't have an extra deck chat. Oh, so it's like that, is it? So it's one of those then. Um, if this is the thing that negates monster effects, I'm just like doom screwed, right? Uh, well, let's pot of prosperity first. Let's see if we can find imperm. Because if we find imperm, then we're just golden, you know? We add this because if that's an imperm, then we can dodge. Oh no, we can't. We can't dodge the herald because we can't special summon. All right, if that's Imperm or Strike or something, then we're doomed. Why St. Joan? Because it turns, uh, oh wait. I need to destroy this one. Ah. Yeah, St. Joan turns this into a level nine. And sometimes you need that. Why did I activate this? Now I can't Imperm. Well, I guess they got that for me. Oh, what are you thinking about? What now? I'm sorry, Billy, what? <laughs> um, thanks? I appreciate it? <laughs> They're like, that would be rude to just stop you from summoning. I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, I couldn't activate Trius. That's fine. Uh, yeah, you can have the domain. You just played the best Sprite player, and now you must face the best Monarch player. Thanks for the free parking, buddy. So I can't get out of the extra deck, but I don't need to. How do we out Erebus with Ugarda? What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? What? I, I feel I was like, Part of me is like, why why would I include that duel in this thing? Nothing happened. It was, but my mind, you know, I didn't have any commentary because I'm just like, what the fuck are they doing? How did you get into Master One? <laughs> All right, here we are, stream number five. It's this one and one more to go to see how far we can take the generators up the Master Duel ladder. And if you're looking up there, you might have noticed we actually have ascended a little bit. I played during the weekend off camera and managed to boost this up to Master 4, and it was not easy. Things are getting a little bit difficult. So after I did that, I went on Twitter and I just asked like, hey, are there any generator duelists who maybe know this deck who could give me some tips? And I actually got some pretty good tips from the generator duelist, Dyer, if you're, you're unfamiliar with her. Former Yugi tuber, I guess she still counts as a Yugi tuber. Uh, mostly known for editing these days, but also like the number one generator fanatic, the, the the one trick. She is to generators what Neshi is to Crystal Beast, <laughs> just always coming up with different ideas. And she basically kind of pilled me on this version that's focused around Small World. We got rid of some of our one-off techs and everything. And instead we're playing this, which in a roundabout way can search almost anything. I'm not going to explain this, it's complicated, I feel like most people know it. But needless to say, in order to use this, you have to have bridges. You have to have cards in your deck that share type, attributes, or levels with the generators so that you can swap them out. Fortunately, we already kind of have this because both Vala and Lopter are, are fire, which kind of uh, syncs up with Ash Blossom. So we could turn like Ash Blossom into either of these. And then we added some more hand traps. I'm trying out Curry Kara. I already had one of these. We crafted another one. We're trying out Effect Veiler. Diviner, I believe, actually works with some of these. And I know Mardell can act as a bridge for some things too. And then also Divulgus, which is like the worst generator. It like lets you summon one from your hand by tributing a generator. Not great. 
but it's an earth monster and it's 1500 attack which means if you know if you already have your combo and you still have small world you can make a bridge to search max c and that's that's very funny anytime you can search max c on the first turn chef's kiss and yeah basically with this version of the deck we're taking out a lot of the crazy tech cards and focusing on doing a combo where we just you use vala summon mardell Vardell searches the boss stage, and then we overlay these two to make Levitin. So we're going to end on the, the two steals and the boss stage. If we can do that as consistently as possible, we can usually, that's usually a winning position. That's why we're playing two Mardell, because any hand where you open with this and her, like, that's just full combo. I'd realized this before with Lopter, like, if you discard the Lopter, you can summon it back and then get to Mardell. And it never occurred to me that just playing a second Mardell would, would do the same thing. You don't really want to play three because it's kind of bricky, but by playing it at two, not only do you increase the chance of this combo, but you also allow it to work as a small world bridge to get into some of your other stuff. It's light like Diviner and it allows you to get some things. I have the, the there's a small world app that lets you search the bridges and everything to figure it out. I have that open in another tab to help. So I'm hoping that by making things more consistent, we'll be able to do that. Although I just realized that I forgot to change up the extra deck. We need to, we need to adjust that. Okay, actually on second thought, looking over this, uh, we can actually still make everything in here and it's not like we're missing a whole lot or that we add a whole lot. Even though it's less likely that we make the Barone, like any level nine plus effect Veiler does it. So there's still a chance you can normal summon and make this, so. Might as well keep it in here. So the extra deck is actually fine. So let's take this, go into ranked, and see how this new version does. <sighs> All right, not the best hand. We cannot do the, oh wait, we can. Although it looks like they have, ma well, we've got the Ash for the maxi. Really the problem we have to worry about is in perm. Do I need to shrink myself? Yeah, I guess so. Whoa! Okay, I'm small now. Jerome, you okay there, buddy? Okay. Took him a second. All right, Diviner of the Herald. Go, go. We can use this to send any fairy to the graveyard, and I don't think we've used this much yet. So we can send Vala. We've got the boss stage, we've got this. Uh, we do have a 500 on our field. Hopefully that won't affect things too much. What is, what can you activate before you draw? This, this can't be like holding on something. This has to be like an internet connection problem. Cause there's, there's no way you could, you literally according to game mechanics cannot activate anything at the start of your turn before your draw phase. So we are going to draw or get a uh, lopter. We're lopping. We're gonna get some tokens. And then I was gonna say to play around triple tack, we can activate max C now, but it doesn't actually, we have to activate this in the main phase anyway. So there's literally no way to play around triple tack. The only thing we could do is play around the Kashtira Fenrir by activating this now. And since we've got another one, I really don't feel too bad about just throwing one out there and being like, yeah, go ahead. I built my board and then I activate Max C. Isn't it crazy how you can, you can activate this during your opponent's turn while you control seven cards? It's almost like there's nothing to balance it or anything. Uh, end of the main phase? I know that. Let's just go ahead and get our evenly matched negator out here. Can they evenly with tokens out? Yes. It's awful because I have to keep the tokens. They can't be banished face down. So if you evenly this and I don't generate her to use the materials, then I have to keep the tokens and I lose everything. <laughs> yep, there's the evenly match. And of course we have to negate this. But even if they've got the second evenly, just getting rid of the two tokens means we can at least retain the Levitin. Yep, that's what I was worried about. Do they know that you can send off the evenly matched as cost? No, they're gonna discard something. Oh, they're, oh, okay, they're doing two. Yeah, sure. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna banish everything except for the Lavatin. It's main phase two, so they can't beat over it. I just gotta hope they're not playing like Fissure or something. Oh, why thank you. Add one Kashtira spell. I don't think I can allow that. They just got rid of Fissure. I meant Fissure Fissure, not Dimensional Fissure. Show me that extra. Show me that extra. Yeah, I don't really mind losing anything out of the extra. Psybeast! Interesting! Becomes level 7, and then what? See if they, they could Shanger Era or Diabolos pass and mill a bunch of cards, like they could do some stuff, but then as soon as my turn starts, I'm just using this. Yeah. And of course I get a draw off of that. The only other thing I could think of was like if they if they went for Big Eye, they could basically force me to activate this and it, I would just lose it, but I would at least get it off the field. But then they would have like nothing. They get Barone, and then I'm losing, like, six cards. Ouch. Equal to their fate. Okay, yeah, six cards. You don't want to lose six cards! Especially when one of those is another boss stage. Ooh. Yeah, we just attack. I don't even need to use the effect. Yeah. I'll just max C here. Attach it. Stop it. I don't care. They can go for it. I could do more damage this way and get a draw. Yeah, we just continue continue the attack. Oh, we do more damage this way. Yeah. We'll just redirect. We do this now and hope they don't have anything. Yeah. Yeah, let's just do this now and get in for more damage. Better Metal Snake. do 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 uh, let's just get these two on here. And now that we got this in the graveyard, this is funny. We'll activate this by discarding the other one. Summon her back. <laughs> and then we just summon back the Mardell, search the last boss stage, make another Levitin. And it's like, nothing really mattered. Anyone can see. Nothing really matters to me. <gasps> ah. Bug. Uh, yeah, I gotta stop that. Yes, okay. I have a bridge. It's not a great bridge, but I've got one. Oh, and I don't need it because I drew the lopter. <laughs> I was, I was sitting here in between the duel like, okay, I can figure out this small world bridge to get to Lopter, you know, have a good time. Instead, I think what I might want to do, I need to stop their draws. Is there some way I can use this to get to Ash Blossom? Um, yes, by getting rid of the Vala. Probably worth it. Okay, so we're going to reveal this. We're going to banish one of our Valas. And we're going to add Ash Blossom to our hand. Be like, even if you stop me, I can at least get rid of the thing in your feet. I can at least stop you from drawing three afterwards. And that's why Small World is neat. When you know what you're doing. Or have an app that helps you know what you're doing. <laughs> Adios. Fuck, Maxi. Yeah, they're going to draw three off of that. I have to stop that. Well, it's a good thing we searched Max C. Or we searched Ash. You know what I mean. Okay, so we're gonna use this. Hopefully they don't have the one that negates. Freezing Curses, I think it is. Oh, they just have Ash. An Ash of their own. All right. Target a level nine. Summon two level nines from the deck. So I cannot get that, but I can get these two? Yeah. Oh, and this summons the lobster back. I always wanted a lobster back. It's like a lobster back, but with fundamental differences. I should have put that into attack. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, they've only got two monsters. Does Mole Cricket have a graveyard effect? Yeah. So we're gonna have to do three. Yo, what's up? It's Labaton. 
Adios. Okay, so we're gonna make the snake. And then the all-devouring world serpent will eat you and you. And even you, little mole cricket. All will be consumed by the mighty world serpent. Nom 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 nom. Battle phase? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, we'll make a Zeus. Big Zeus. Biggest Zeus. He's finally here to Zeus your face. Hit you with cards and then make a disgrace. Uh, let's go ahead and Lopter. We're just going to get the second Mardell. Do, 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 do. Adding a Churia. Okay, I will add something different. Let's add this. And they added Blessings and or Graveyard. Do they have one in their hand, the Graveyard? Apparently so. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate Monstrosity. Cause we've got the second one and we're just gonna summon from the deck again. And we're gonna get this and do we get another Vala? Uh, I think we just saved the Vala and we just go for these two. Yo, what up? So now if they want to link or synchro or whatever, we can negate that. We can clear the field, and if they try to negate it, we can negate it. And there we go! Another win for the mighty Generator Menace! And all it took was opening, like, the most broken cards we could possibly do. But, but that's nice. Anytime you can search an Ash or whatever and just be like, you know what? If you feel like Maxine, now you can't. Wasn't what I intended to do, but it worked out right. <laughs> and I like that they didn't even know what we were searching until we got it. So it's like, oh, oh shit. <sighs> Not the best go first hand, but anytime you start with uh, the world stage, you're pretty good. Uh, 2400 defense, might as well put it in defense. Hello, it's me, your friend Fenrir. What's great about this is that Fenrir with Double Gas is also a uh, small world bridge to get into, I think, Maxi? There's, I think, yeah. So, like, you could search the Fenrir, search Fenrir, and then if I have small world, I could search Maxi. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get this, because then they'll draw two, but then they'll have to uh, send one to the graveyard. Get rid of one of those, please. Sure, why not? These tokens ain't gonna do anything anyway. I'll negate the imperm so you at least have to still get rid of a card. Ah, lab. The furniture. Uh, okay. Their own Fenrir. What do they get rid of? Difficult choices, difficult choices. They're going for the Fenrir. Oh no, they're going for the Lopter. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, okay. Ooh, I haven't played this yet. Any monster that activated its effect this turn. This might be a little spicy. Let's just go to attack. Wait, if I max C, they get to Fenrir. Oh, but if they Fenrir, I get to, yeah, it's fine. It's just a bigger thing for Kurikara at the end. The more monsters that activate their effects this turn, the better. Two of them things? Two of them things. Uh, do I called by that? No, probably not. Alright. Main phase two. Behold, Scrumblo! All your monsters are tributed! Behold the Karikura Divi Carnate! Big! Big, big, big! How do you like me? How do you like me? And then during the end phase, target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summon it to your field. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, I'm gonna take the Fenrir. I probably should have special summoned my one beforehand, but this is funnier. They're like, help me, squire. 
Not today. Get that out of there. Get it out. I don't want to have to deal with it. Perfect play. Ultra, ultra, ultra. Um, I still go for this, right? Oh, unfortunate. They drew the ash. Really is just Fenrir, yeah. <laughs> they realized the Fenrir battles would not go in their favor. Wow, we're just having a lot of great duels today. Check out your seats, ladies and gentlemen, because you're only going to need the edge. We've been on a win streak. We're doing good. One more win and we get to Master 3, and we have won the coin toss, which means we've got an advantage. We've got the shades on, which means we have an advantage. Critter believes in us, which means we have the advantage. All we got to do is get a good hand. This isn't awful, but it's not great. We have to World Legacy Monstrosity, summon a level 9 from our hand. If you want a Max C, that's fine, it's Upstart Goblin with what we've got here. Well, I have two Ashes. I might as well Ash one. So we do that, we're going to summon the Mardell, and if they don't have like a Veiler or an Imperm, we can at least get Boss Stage. They have an Ash of their own. Well, I could normal the Ash, and we could make Final Sigma. I think I'd rather have the Search Negate. Let's just hope with those four cards that they brick two and they need something. All right, they're just setting a bunch of cards. Probably Labyrinth again, if I had to guess. La <laughs> Gee, Billy, how come your mom gives you all the Ash Blossoms? Uh, let's go into battle. Let's hit them. Hit it! Um, at this point, because all they have is back row, do we normal summon the Ash? This is unaffected by card effects, which means if they are playing a whole bunch of traps, this will get rid of it. Let's, let's try it. How often are we going to summon Final Sigma? Let's go. Three and nine. Sigma. The true grind set. Well, you know what? We dealt, we dealt 2,800 points of damage. That's not bad. Another set card. What? What's going on? All right, boss stage. That does something, assuming they don't have another fucking uh, solemn judgment. All right, the boss stage resolves. Go, go, boss stage. Let me guess, you're bricking on Ashes too? Uh, yeah, let's stop that shit. <laughs> Get out of there. Whatever they're bricked on, I don't want them to draw out of it. I just gotta remember, I can't maxi. I cannot. Tokens. Summon limit. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to max C much anyway, chat. One bad day. That's all it takes. They're just back row dad over there. Or not. Fortunately, they cannot get over Lopter. I was worried for a second. Ooh, they know this deck though. They took out the Leviton. Okay, I think we just want to blow it up. The problem is, if I go for Vala, then I can't summon the Curry Carnate. Okay, they ashed that. I still activated the effect. Will they activate the, the Unicorn? Yes! Activate the Unicorn, doing all the stuff. I still get to tribute them off as cost. What do you think about the... Okay, both Leviton's gone. Yo, what up? Your monster is forfeit. The Divi Carnate says so. 3,000 attack. Big, big, big. Go into the battle phase. I really, I really kind of like this card. This is a pretty neat card, you know? Ah, uh, Imperm. Does that drop me down or do I? Yep. All right, it's not over yet. But they're on the back foot. End phase, um, I'm negated anyway. 
Let's get... Uh, oh yeah, we go for Nidhogg against the uh, Kashtira deck because we can just negate their summon. D-Fissure, all right. Uh, I won't be able to activate this after now, so I might as well do it. Oh, I didn't know this summoned. Well, I get... <laughs> My Divi Carnate! Damn, I should have gone for Har, now that I'm thinking about it. I, for some reason, I thought this couldn't summon, and now I can't get the Har. Uh, we'll get Vala. And we'll just use her effect. Oh, I could get this out before it dies. Uh, no, we have to get this out of our hand. Uh, yeah, if I negate it, they just summon it back with birth. Yeah, I have to allow that. There's the rest of my maxis. Yep, we're gonna do that. Uh-oh. Oh. Wait, why did they do that? Do they know what I have in my hand? Uh, I don't think they thought this through. Because of summon limit, they can't summon again. These only trigger when I activate a monster effect. They left me with a 2100 and they've got 15. Oh wait, no, that's not a thousand, is it? Um, do we still have pep? We do still have pep. Uh, normal summon. Effect? Nah, I don't need no effect. Let's just go ahead and put a little pep in their step, shall we? Howdy. My name's Psychic End Punisher, and in the name of the moon, I will punish you. Uh, no, I don't want to activate the effect. I'll just attack for 3,500. And there we go! Hoof! Talk about this brick fest. That's just <laughs> two Supermans hit with kryptonite, just punching the shit out of each other. But it was just enough to rank our way up into Master 3. We made it, and we've only got two more ranks to go. Can we continue the hype train? I mean, you're already watching. Might as well continue watching, you know. Or maybe you go get a snack, come back. The video's probably not going anywhere. <sighs> Uh, this is this, they have enough. Well, okay. Activate boss stage. We've got to send off an Ixie or a Link. And, oh, oh, they're just going to keep it. Oh, or effect. Okay, so it doesn't matter. None of this matters. Yeah, because, like, if I, I, well, I can't even target the carrot. I guess I got to get rid of the Fenrir. Maybe I should put evenly back. Oh. Small World Diviner to add Fenrir? No. No, I could not. Okay, so this allows me to activate this. Uh, let's see if this works. Um, we attack over that, right? Okay. That worked better than expected. Uh, they activated Sprite Elf this turn, right? Yeah. And they activated this, and they activated that. Okay, here's what we do, chat. We are going to make this... 
and we'll attach Carrot and the back row. Then we will use Small World. We will send, or we will reveal Diviner. We will send Effect Veiler. And that will allow us to add Curry Kara from our deck to our hand. And wouldn't you know, everything on your field activated its effects this turn. Get it all out of here. The Divi Carnage has arrived. 6,000 attack. All the big attack and big attack city. End phase. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think we'll go ahead. What do I want? Do I want your Herald of the Arclight or do I want your Fenrir? You know, I'll take the Arclight just in case you have like an Ash or something to stop this. Oh, I should have taken the Fenrir. That would have been an Earth Monster. Ash Blossom. Oh no, how unfortunate. Whatever will I do? What, you got another carrot in there? No, you got a blue. Oh, uh, wait, are you just gonna add one from your deck to your hand? Oh, wait, that doesn't trigger it. Okay. Oops. Okay, yeah, I, I might be just done for. The snake can trigger it, but it's only once per turn. The summon from deck is. Yeah, it activated and the effect was negated. Gamma Burst. Can they Gamma over Kurikara? They can't Zeus, yeah, because they use Starter, right? We're not out of this yet, chat. Interesting, just going for another elf. Do they not know they're locked? Okay, Gigantic Sprite. Gain 1400, so that would make it 46. Yeah, they've got to go into IP and then use Avermax next turn. Uh, okay, I mean, if they want to negate this, they can. They'd have to tribute off, yeah, the elf. And I just take no damage, and they don't get the draw either. Um... No math? Question mark? Did you think you could get higher than six of what? What did they think was gonna happen? I, I am very, I, maybe they thought it doubled? I don't, I don't know. The fuck? What do you mean 32 plus 12 isn't higher than 6,000? Well, uh, I mean, it worked. It, uh, you know, it worked. Here we are, ladies and non-ladies, the final day. The Norse gods would have called this Ragnarok, and as the generators are Norse-themed, this is our Ragnarok. Our final struggle to try to get into Master 1. We're in Master 3, we're close. We might be able to make it today, if we can keep up the good win streak. And we've got almost essentially the same deck as last time, which was doing pretty good for us. I've made one small change. This is version 8.25, eight and a quarter. And that's just in the extra deck. Uh, we finally got rid of that, that one thing, the aggregator or whatever that we put in here. I think we only ever summoned it once and the Garuda, both were taking up space. And what we really wanted was an IP Mascarena. There's been several times when we're left with two monsters that can't really do a whole lot. Something like a Diviner and a Mardell. And uh, it would be nice to be able to make a Masquerina that we can then use to like go into Nightmare Unicorn, or maybe if we're lucky, even like an Underworld Goddess. So we're, we're making that small change. Hopefully it'll be enough to make the difference as we jump back in and try our best to stave off the end times. <sighs> All right, one more win and we're up into Master 2. We've got 69 so far, which is nice. We lost the coin toss which is not so nice. This happened the last time we were knocking at Master 2. We, we just gotta win more coin tosses, what can I say? Or open really well. Well, Max C is a pretty good thing to open when you're going second. We'll have to, oh, I didn't do it fast enough. Yep, we'll just Max C here. 
or they have a chance to draw and do other stuff. If they don't draw, we've got full combo, plus hand trap insurance ourselves. And there they go! They're just like, fuck it, I'm not going to play. Oh, hey, Fenrir, what is it, my birthday? Special, the Fenrir. Ba dum ba dum ba dum. Activate. If they ash this, we're Golden Pony Boy. Just get a free Fenrir. Pancratops that searches itself? Why not? All right, go, go. We send Volo with this. If only there was a level 18 synchro. Ah, a Maxi, but see, unlike you, I was a really skilled player. I opened the Called By. Called By Ash must be nice. And with that, you know, I'd like to say Generator had what it took to uh, make it all the way up here, but it's more like Called By Maxi had everything to get into Master 2. We're one rank away. We've got three more hours of the regular stream. I might stay late, but I think we have what it takes to make it into Master 1. I believe! Comment in the comments if you believe. And then maybe join the Patreon for a dollar. I'd really appreciate it. That would, that would be most appreciated. All right. Keep going. They're letting me go first. This is full combo, but if they got dang old, um, things, they got maxi. Yep. So the thing I always try to, 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 uh, get into people is this idea, like, in order to make a Ixy, you have to summon three times. Do you think making an Ixy is, um, is broken? Then why do we have a card that punishes it? Let's see what we got. With how many cards they've driven, they've got to have the at. And then that's the thing, right? Like, I could end on nothing, or I could end on this and bait out an ash. Question mark? Why attack mode? I don't think it matters. All right, hit me with that lava golem. Nothing really mattered. I got the one guy who plays Raigeki. Okay, so we're going to activate this anyway. We're going to summon this. Now we have it in the graveyard for next turn. Leviton cannot dodge out of Lightning Storm or Raigeki. Eight, seven cards and this was the best you could do? Okay, Shanker Era. Why are you playing traps in a blind second deck? Oh, well, unless they've got called by which this very much could be, but we've got to try it. It's not called by. All right, we don't get to make a rank. Oh wait, we do get to make a rank nine. Yo, what up? I'm about to be monstrous on this lad. Yeah, I mean, if you got Ash, you gotta, oh, they're not, they're not doing it. They've got something that absolutely, like, ruins us. I can negate it with this. Banish three. That sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Imperm. Well, let me think about this. If I make the three, I could steal everything. That's 3,000 plus 3,000 plus Karikura. Yeah, that's just game. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't need it. Unless they have, I think, it'd have to be, like, Nibiru, exactly. Yeah, then we do this. Yo, what up? It's a nice field. Be a shame if it were tributed for a Divi Carnate with a lot of attack. 25. 45. Let's go and do the snake deity! It's snake time! You, you, and you! You're coming with me! 3,000! Get out of here! 
You thought you could OTK me? It is you who gets OTK'd. All right, very small change, just a little tweak to things. The effect veilers aren't working very well, especially against all the cash decks. There's just not a lot that they do. So I'm trading them out for Ghost Ogres. I think this will be better. I can use it on my turn. I think that's the important part and it, it destroys some stuff. It won't be as good against tier, but this high in Master, it's like all cash, even though cash isn't that, that good in Master Duel right now. I don't get it, but that's what we're doing. You gotta, you gotta prepare for what you're dealing with. <laughs> Stand by, play around Fenrir, play around uh, Triple Tack. I knew it! <laughs> okay, so let me think. Some, ah, Drollin' Lock. Oh, I guess that does it. But Drollin' Lock's reciprocal. So you get one search, either Ziamen or Fenrir. Oh no, you can't use either. Cards cannot be added from the deck to the hand. They are also drolled. Doesn't matter if you draw them or search them. You cannot. <laughs> That's... There's a lot of people like, if Max C is a problem, just play Droll. I'm like, Droll is somewhat balanced by the fact that it's reciprocal. <sighs> All right, ladies and non-ladies. One duel, high stakes, we get to go first. Gotta put on the shades. I can't see the fear in your eyes. So they don't know, I'm cool, baby. I'm cool, Joe. I'm chill as a cucumber and twice as round. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me think about how I want to do this. I think we go for the Vala into Lopter. We hope they don't have Max C here because that's going to give them a lot of draws. Shit. Well, we've come back from this before. We get one, two, three, four fucking cards. But a baby's got to do what a baby's got to do. It's just a shame that, like, in order to do our main combo, we need to do stuff like this. At least they didn't get Ash by the time we got here, but that means they probably got play starters. Do we just make this three materials? Do we just go all in? Fuck it, we ball. We ballin', we ballin', we ballin'. What we need here, what will save us, is the spirit of St. Joan. Let her guide us to the promised land. With the divine channeling her spirit, Lavatin will have the power of heaven and hell. No one will be able to stop her. They will be gaslit. They will be girl bossed. They will be girl lit and they'll be gas boss. And you don't want to mess with the gas boss, all right? Okay, 90% chance they have Ash here, right? They've drawn a fourth of their deck. Ah, uh, no. Okay, so we're going to Vala. Uh, chain Link 1, tokens. Chain Link 2, summon from the graveyard. Let's get Lopter back. Let's get the tokens. And your go. All right, all right. It is Labyrinth. Yeah, so we definitely want the negate, the Omni negate. We loft her and we go into har. Hardy har har. Okay, so we need to hold on to this for as long as possible because if we can suck up their back row in the end phase, then they just can't do anything. We just have to survive until the end phase. Okay, and then this is like send a monster to the graveyard. Okay, they get the big girl and I'll have to allow that. She's in defense mode. Cool, that's cool. We're cool, we're cool. We're chill. Only thing I'm worried about is the coup clock. That allows them to play on this opening turn. If not, they have to set, and unless they set five, I can steal, I can just suck everything. That's three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to assume that they set their best three cards first. So we're gonna go into this, and we're gonna get this, this, and this. Yeah. Slurp. Interesting, interesting. Do we do this now just to get bigger? Decent. Yeah, let's get as big as we can right now, even if it gives them a draw. 
take the strike. I think I have to give up the lofter. They gave me the skill drain! Alright, we don't have to worry about the skill drain. Tokens are gone. Alright. Another boss stage. Not great, not great. Can't be destroyed, so the Ghost Ogre doesn't do anything against this. Change to attack, and yeah, we do this. Oh no, we don't give them anything. We send Lofter. Oh, uh, the Welcome Lab doesn't do anything. And we want them to activate that. Yeah, go, go right ahead. That's fine. I have no problem with that. Yes! Oh, they knew they were cooked! And they had nothing to come back! The Curry Kara would have gone so brazy there! And with that, ladies and non-ladies, generators raid their way into Master One! First deck to do so! Top of the charts, baby! Best deck! Best deck! It's it's not actually the best deck, but it's pretty dang good! Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo! 83! Slash slash! Thank you for the 20 gifted subs! And if you didn't get one, you gotta type evaded in the chat. That's just the way it goes. That's just the way we do! Critter, we made it to Master One! Yeah! Well, it's, it's really impressive. It's hard to do, okay? Okay, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. He's there for moral support. And with that, ladies and non-ladies, we reach the conclusion of this episode. In the end, we made it to Master 1, and, uh, it was probably the easiest climb so far. I don't know if this deck is just, like, secretly amazing, or if I'm getting better at the game, or if everyone else is getting worse, but whatever the reason, this ended up working surprisingly well. I mean, don't get me wrong, generators are not awful by any means, but considering how many bricks we had to play and how difficult it is to go second, I would have thought this would be a lot more challenging. But no, it turned out to be a fun deck that's also pretty good. A rare treat from the patrons that will not be repeated next month but I'll talk about that in a bit. First, since it's the end of the month and the end of the episode, let's take a moment to think like a boss and look over our statistics for August 2023. I ended up playing 141 duels with generators and made it into Master 1. We won 83 of those duels and lost 53, which gives us deck an overall win rate around 58%. We went through eight and a half builds during our time before ending on this pure-ish list behind me, which contains 10 common cards, 14 super rare cards, and 31 ultra rare cards. We spent 10,000 gems on this month's deck, which would cost about $130 if you bought them all at the store at the standard price. Although to be fair, 2,000 of those gems were just spent pulling cash tier of Fenrir. If you already have this, it'll be cheaper. Finally, all of this would not have been possible without 412 awesome patrons who helped support the channel. 29 of those patrons donated $25 or more this month, so I'd like to take a moment to thank them personally. Their names are Davon Crushin, Cat Monarch, Shadow1317, Austin Glover, Chris W, Ya Boy Slurp, Muntry, Barbarians Are Us, Boomer Noob underscore, Clockswork, Dallas Visaji, Default Titan 97, A Dancing Joker, Elance, Emperor Lelouch, Inge Magnus, Jeff M, JJ Squirtle, Koro, MBT Yu-Gi-Oh, Nathan, Nawdog the Razor, Quintingent, Sanguine Strawberry, Spooky, Taylor, Tenga Topan Bob Ross, and Tristan Marlowe. Also, also, Crystal Chaos and Viscount Billy Esquire, I forgot to record you somehow, but you get a special insert, so uh, you're not forgotten. If you'd like to join them, there's a Patreon link down in the description. $1 gets you on my Discord, $25 gets your name in the credits, and for $10 you can get a special role that allows you to vote on what deck I play next. 
Speaking of which, next time on Ladder Climb, things are gonna get complicated. Put on your thinking caps and break out your reading glasses, because not only are we playing pendulums, we're playing Valence. If you want to see me attempt this in real time, you can follow me over at twitch.tv slash hardleggaming, where I stream most of my duels. Otherwise, until next time, good luck and have fun.